show begins You're telling all your friends The party never ends Not from again Not from again Comedy show The mic is live and clear For you and all to hear Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're live, live with the Knock'em Dead Comedy Radio Show, broadcasting from the world-famous Governor's Comedy Clubs in Levittown. It's Friday, baby. It's Friday. We're going to be doing a couple of shows this weekend sold out at Frank Stakes. Is it sold out? Or is it close to Isn't it sold? always? Is it? Or is it close? Uh, Are there a couple more tickets left? They might be able to fit you in. They might be able to fit us in. And then tomorrow night at the Riverhead Library, it's going to be a great time. Um, what else going on? It's, did you hear what happened? To? Mickey Calloway. I did, of course. He's fired. No Bye. longer the manager of the Mets. Bye-bye. Uh, and now we're looking at... Uh, what do you have the job for, like a couple years? Two years. <laughs> Girardi, we're looking at Showalter, we're looking at... <clears throat> you know who they're not looking at? Wally Backman. But they are looking at Joe Madden. They're looking at Joe Madden, but they're saying he wants to go to the Angels. Oh, is that right? Yep. They were saying he wants to go to the Angels. Um, the Angels? The Angels. Oh, Osmus was fired? Yes. Oh, After I didn't hear one that. season. Yeah, I yes. didn't hear After that. After one tumultuous season. Wow, a say. lot of managers are, are gone. Yes. David Cohn wants in on the interviewing process David for the Mets. David Cohn? David Cohn wants wow. to be back is that on? On, in the Mets. There's one on. I don't know. Somebody's phone is on. Somebody's phone oh, sh- we never went to Chocolate Bingo. I know. Ooh. You're live on the Knock Dead Comedy Radio Show. Who's this? Oh, well, I met you guys. Can you know we showed up last night? I, uh, I tried, Dennis. I'm, I'm, my, my apologies. I tried. I, I just had too much going on. My apologies. Yep. You too, Bonnie. You never showed up either. Yeah, Bonnie. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, I was sorry. waiting there, waiting there till eight o'clock, and nobody showed up. Oh, uh, well, we, I was. We thought about it yeah. like the whole entire time. Like we got to get over there, and we just we couldn't. It's hard because we have like you know we've got four kids, and we're shuffling people all over the place. Well, well, how was it? It was great, and f- oh my god, we had a great time. Did, Did you, you win chocolate? Yeah. No, but actually they had they had dinner and everything. It was really good. Oh, I'm glad oh. you. And what was the what was it for? What cause? It was for a um, fundraiser. What, what, and what did you have for dinner there? We had, um, oh my God, we had, we had chicken, chicken nuggets, um, pasta with chicken. We had meatballs and salad. It was really good. Did you have chicken That's meatballs? Great. Yes. Yes. Did you have regular meatballs? No. No. Oh, just chicken meatballs. Yeah. Everybody. I thought you were just getting chocolate. Everybody you know, like you had to like you had a win for your food or something. No, it was really good. It was really, it was nice. Glad, glad, glad you, you had, had a good time. Yeah, glad you had a good time. Really sorry, I missed you. I, I was trying. I pro- I swear I tried. I just I was just too busy. I'm sorry. I wish you guys were there. It was, it was a great cause and everything. It was fun. Right. Darito. Well, we'll see you in a few weeks. I hope okay. so too. You know. What's that? I hope so. Yeah, well, you're gonna. Uh, we got to talk to what was it a guy? Somebody named Chris about having your wedding here in the studio. Yep. All right. Well, uh, I hope we can do that. I hope we can find who the now. Who is this guy again? This guy, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, who is he? Does he work at your home? Is he a relative? Who is he? I don't know who it is. You got to see Chris, or I don't know who it is. Oh, so it's not somebody named Chris. No, I, I, I think it's. I don't know who it is. 
All right, so who, so who, who's taking you to the village hall? At, you know, to to get married. My cousin is. Are you? Can you ask that cousin to reach out to us so that we can talk to him about you guys doing it here instead? Yeah, we don't follow him. Okay, yeah. So ask him if he can give us a call, and we'll we'll try to. Are you okay with doing doing it here instead? Are you okay with that? Yes. All right. So tell ask your cousin if you can give us a call, and we'll try to work that out. No problem, guys. You guys are awesome, and I miss you guys last night. Yeah. I, again, very sorry, Dennis. I, I, yeah, my apologies. Hey, I was. Oh my god, it was a great call. It was nice. <clears throat> and and the and? lady who the lady who the lady who did it the lady who um did the phone raise last night. She's coming to my house. She's going to your house. Yeah, she's doing a um thing for my house too. Wow, what's what's that all about? Um, because she does like chocolate and stuff like that. She has like a book. She yeah. sells she sells she sells chocolate. Oh, she sells chocolate. So she's selling some to where you live. No, she's um coming. She's making stuff like that. So for my guys. Oh, okay. Wow, that's that's great. So more chocolate for you. Yeah, no, actually, no. That for me is for my it's for my guys. Actually, it's for my for my group home. Okay. Well, you'll still get some of that, right? Oh yeah, of course. And you'll be the big hero at the group home for bringing in chocolate. Oh no! I'll be, oh yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> you'll be the popular guy for a while because who isn't popular if they bring in chocolate? I should be. Oh yeah, definitely. And I don't think she could sell stuff too. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> very nice. But she was awesome. She was very nice. She was very sweet and stuff like that. And it, was, it was for her son that passed away like eight, I think. Like like nineteen years something like that she said. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was very really nice. It was really cool. Well we'll have to uh introduce her to Felix so that she can bring chocolates in on his uh food show. Oh he she is coming. Okay, very nice. Anyway, yeah, we were actually we were like no we were like I say there was only a little bit of people I mean. Was that that much? Oh yeah? Yeah, I say there was like only ten people, like that was it. Oh, ten people. Wow. Yeah, well, like, it was not that crowded. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I hope they had a good fundraiser anyway. Yeah, actually, yeah, it was nice. I said they raised some money. And if you weren't thinking of this, she gave you, like, these chocolates, like, um, chocolate, cook, like, chocolate dip, but cook, some, some chocolate cookies and so whatever. They were, uh-huh. I don't know how good they were. They were good. They looked really good. Nice. Yeah, okay. so I didn't win last time. I came close a couple times to win. You came close to winning a couple close. times? All right. But you yeah. still, but you still got chocolate anyway, right? Oh yeah, I had chocolate cake anyway too at the end. They had chocolate cake. Yep. Oh, now I'm really mad. I missed it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they had this cake. I brought home actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bought some. I bought some cake home. I bought some pasta with chicken. It was that was really good. Wow, there was a lot of chicken going on at this thing. Yeah, so it was really actually it was really good. Very nice. Actually. I, the pasta with chicken had mushrooms in it. Oh, yeah? Was that a good yep. thing or a bad thing? It was a good thing. I oh, like okay. mushrooms. I, I like them sautéed. And you can't even taste it. You can't even taste the mushrooms anyway. Yeah. yeah you can't even like, taste the mushrooms at all. Sounds like you like any food. Sounds like you're not very picky. Oh, yes, I am. I'm very picky sometimes. I'm very picky. Yeah? I don't like vegetables that much. Oh, broccoli is delicious. I know. I, don't, I don't like bro- I like broccoli with a half a half cheese on it. Oh, with a lot of cheese. Okay. All right. That's all right. Not that, not that much cheese. A little bit of cheese. Okay. I like I to, a lot I of cheese. Melted. Yeah, melted cheese on the broccoli. Right. Okay. Oh yes. All right. Not bad. All right. What do you got going on this weekend? Nothing really. Just chilling mm-hmm. in my house, just watching Ghost Radio with a food on. Very nice. Works for me. Oh yes. All right. Very nice. All it, right. So, uh, ma- all right, so make sure you tell your cousin to get in touch with us. I just mad because you guys never showed up. I know, I know. and trust me, I'm really, I'm mad really about bad. it too. I, I I tried though. I promise you, I tried. So I know sorry. I was there. I was there till nine o'clock, and nobody showed up. <laughs> well, we're gonna make we're trying to make it up for you have, by having your wedding here. We'll have a nice day. All right, that's good. Though. I hope so. Me too. You guys, you guys give me the address so where it's at because I don't know where it's at yet. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, yeah, put us in touch with your cousin, and we'll uh, tell your cousin to call us, and we'll give him all the details. All right, no problem. Make sure you guys are awesome. You are too, Dennis. Like, a, like I said, I want to give a shout out to all Ghost Radio 
Even the Matuk, even Graz, he's awesome. Excellent. That's right. Very nice. I, I, I like Matuk, even Graz. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. He's, he's funny last night. He was he was terrible. Yeah, he's a he's a crazy guy. That one. <laughs> oh yeah, like I said, I, I love my Ghost Radio. The Ghost Radio is number one. Thank you, pal. All right, have a great weekend. Uh, you too. I just talk to you guys later. All right, Dennis. Bye. See you guys later. Have a good okay. weekend. Be safe. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Dennis Murphy. Ghost Radio is number one. You should vote for us on the best of Long Island as number one. I voted three days in a row already. That's right. I didn't, oh, I didn't vote today. Yeah, you got to vote every I'm, day. I'm every day counts. It. I put it on my calendar. Every vote counts. Kenny said, I am the worst caller. F you, Dix, and Sally. Why is he the worst caller? I, we must have said it once or twice. Like today? Yeah, or ever. With the key of imagination. What are you listening to? Beyond it is another dimension. Why are you listening to the Twilight a Zone? Sound. I, uh, a dimension of sight. I'll explain a this in a second. All right. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Let's get the party started. Let's get the party started. Not the way I taught you. What is this? Hey, Steve! We're sorry we couldn't be there birthday party, oh. but you know that we love oh, you. Oh, this is and we wish Kiss. You all the best. <laughs> Rock and roll all night, Steve. That's in order. We're going to get a bill in the mail from Kiss. I clicked on something saying "Happy Birthday, Steve," and I don't know. It's playing all these other Steve weird. Steve Belanger. Now they're showing the clip of Uncle Buck flipping the giant pancake. I I, I you just don't thought know it would what's be a, going on. I just thought it would be a song wishing Steve a happy right, birthday. Right now, turned into this whole Twilight Zone cluster fuck. Let's, uh, let's see what this thing is. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good birthday video for Steve. Now there's an old lady dressed up as Marilyn Monroe walking in the street. Okay. Sounds this has potential. I heard it was somebody's birthday. <laughs> yes. Is that your birthday, Steve? Yes, it is. Well, happy birthday to you. Steve Belanger. Happy is birthday. Is she hot? No. No. She's not bad. She has the, the voice down. Happy birthday. There's a little birthday, effort there. Day, dear Steve. Oh! Did she fall? <laughs> she just fell. <laughs> That's great. Now I like her more. You gotta send that to Steve. Put it on his uh put it on his uh page, on his Facebook page. Happy birthday, everybody. Everybody? I thought it was just Steve. I thought it was just Steve too. She almost fell off the curb again. All right. Well you All right. should send it to Steve that Belanger. Was cute. She tried. Yeah, happy birthday, Steve Belanger. Steve Belanger. We did not well Sally knew. I didn't know I don't know if you knew. That yesterday he's sitting here and I had no idea. No, we had no idea. The next day was his birthday. Yes. Sally knew and she forgot. Nice. She's been under the weather. Yeah, I'm almost better. I just had like a head cold. So like, you know, should I more of an idiot than I normally am. Should I go on again and should I go on there and vote? Now? Yeah. Do it later. Oh, all right. Why would you do it now? So that people, so we can tell them again how to vote. Uh, they know, right? What? Don't they know? It's I hope possible. So. I sure hope so. I wonder how Derek's fun. promo video came out. Remember, you were shooting promo videos yesterday for you, Kirby Monster, and no, didn't I didn't go? help. No, I didn't help. Oh, I thought he asked you to go. No, no, he didn't. He said, uh, "No, thank you for offering." You asked to go. I could. I thought he said, "If you want, come on." I no, could, I, I just said, "If you need help." Yeah, and he I said, thought he said, "If you yeah. want," but yeah. that's not an. Isn't that what I just said? Yeah, but that's not an invitation. That's not a yes. If you want, no, is it a I, yes? No. I if don't you think he want, wanted help. Yeah, it didn't seem like he wanted help. <clears throat> oh. He didn't, because he would be like, oh my God, thanks. Tony, oh. your hair crazy. I'm what? Your hair is crazy, Tony. Who says that? Dennis Murphy. Dennis says, my hair is crazy. So mm-hmm. you're Tony, you're Eric, and I'm Bob. Dennis. Dennis. Eric, Sally, Tony. Eric, Sally, Tony. Just so you know. Tony, Bonnie, Eric. <laughs> Tony, Bonnie, Eric. All right, so let's see. I'm voting Jeff for Bose, he's watching. <clears throat> John Santos. Yeah, I vote for him too. Oh, I didn't register on this computer. Now he's going. Well, now I am. We have a special guest today. We do. Andy. When's he coming Plaginus. in? Plaginus. It's coming in. When's he coming in? 12 ish. Okay. He wrote a bit. 
a drug bit, a drug commercial parody. Um, so hopefully we'll record that soon and get it out to you guys. That'll be fun. Uh, do it now, says Dennis Murphy. I'm not sure what he means by do it now. Do what now? Oh, uh, vote, vote now? now? Okay, vote oh, now. show. Eric, did you just burp into the mic and smell it? I don't think I burped. Yeah, you did. I heard a big I, burp. I didn't see you smell it. No, I always just go like this. I put my mouth close to the mic. Because a lot of people, they go like this, and it's not really. The mic will still pick But not it up, everyone though. puts their nose on it. No. You're like a noser. I nosed it. A What's noser. your shirt all about? Is it just a regular <clears throat> shirt? Yeah, it's just my hockey shirt. Okay. Looks like wings or something, so I thought it was like something. It was just the logo of my team. All right, so I'm, I voted, I'm voting for John Santo. Okay. Let's see. Children's Party Event Company, Mr. The, Pop and Twist. Do they want you to do it up there? Like, no? We're not up for that, Children's Party co- Company? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I voted for Keegan yesterday. Yep. The day before that, I voted for Isaacs and Baker. Okay. Uh, all right. Today, I'm doing Rich Walker. Well, I'm voting for Rich Walker. Okay. I'm voting for Keegan straight through. You're not. You're not changing it up. I'm not swaying. Why? Because I stand with Keegan. Well, so do I. But well, no, you really don't. You waver with Keegan. They're all my friends. What are you, you going to do? Eric, your hair looks crazy. It's, it does. Yeah, he's talking to you. Oh. Why does my hair look crazy? I don't... I've seen it crazier. Escape room? So I Epic. saw... Um, I saw Dave Chappelle stand-up last night on uh, Netflix, the Sticks and Stones. And? Did you see it? I did. <clears throat> okay, I have to, like, fess up. I never saw a stand-up before. And? He's, he's, like, brilliant. He's very funny. He's so funny. Very funny. Yeah, like I can, I never, I like, you know, you hear the name all over the place and you're like, you know, I should really know what this guy is like. And I was so glad that I clicked on it. He's really funny. Yeah, it's very funny. Yeah. That's all I had with that. That's but the whole story? Really, yeah, it was just, I thought it was just really great. Yeah. <laughs> is that his newer one that people are complaining about? I believe it about? is, yeah. 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 Oh. All right, so I saw Well, there's the a bunch one. of them. You could watch a bunch of them. Yeah. Is that like the best one or they're just all great? great. You should watch them. Yeah, they're all great. Chappelle's very funny. Uh, Did you hear though? Did you hear speaking of Chappelle and his his little political correctness and how it's going to kill us and how it's going to eat us up? And did you hear that? I liked that part. In (laughs) New York City, the five boroughs now. I did hear this. What? You're talking about the... um um, oh, shit. It just went out of my head. The, the, the title. Um, is that what you're talking about? Maybe. A phrase. A phrase, yes. Which was what? It just, it, I just lost Illegal it. Illegal alien. They're banning the, the phrase? And if you get caught saying it, you could get fined up to $250,000. Welcome to America, land of the free. Didn't you just say it? Now do you have to own it? Now no, because I'm not in New York up? City. I'm on Long Island. So, it, yeah. Oh. So it's just a Long Island. It's just a, a New York City. New York City. Yep. So this is who? De Blasio? Yep. So Welcome you, to the land of the free like people. Like on the news or as you're walking across the street? Like, like as oh. a derogatory term. Yeah. Right. But like if you're walking across the street and you're like, mm. oh, look at that illegal alien. Does someone give you a ticket for $250,000? I, I guess you can, yeah. I guess That's so. What, isn't that littering? I don't, I don't, or is that $250? I so don't think it's going to be enforced. It's worse than littering. Yeah. I, I don't think it's going to be enforced. I, I, I mean, how could you ban a phrase? We have freedom of speech in this country. If I think it's unconstitutional. S- if you say the N word, is that can you get fined for that? No, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I, I, that's why I'm asking. So I don't know if I ever heard of that. Right. What happened to the piece what's of paper? what's the problem I with it? Well, it was illegal al- illegal alien. What's the beef about he it? He believes it's a derogatory term, so you can't say it. Wow! Isn't that a great country? What a great country we live in. Uh, but we can say it. We're not in New York City. That's right. I mean, a lot of times when people point things out like that, it kind of does. It makes you take a step back and think about it, and think about like what it would be like to be that person. I just, I don't see that this one is such a. I don't know. Are the illegal aliens complaining about it? Or like, oh, that hurts my feelings. Like, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm, I have no idea. 
All I know is you can't say you, it. You could understand why certain terms being used by for certain groups, how right. it would be, you know, it hurt their feelings. I just, I don't know that that is a hurtful term. Yes. I well, don't know. But maybe I'm <clears throat> ignorant I don't know. to it. I guess we'll find $250, out. $250,000 to find out. Yeah. So sting well, must be. it'll. When is this? <laughs> That's good, Pete Jenkins. So Sting must be pissed off. No more Englishmen <laughs> in New York. <laughs> Bonnie said it can't be true. It is true. It was no, on I, the internet this morning on the a legit internet site. Well, I don't know how legit it is, but I did. Well, it I, was one of the major news networks. Yeah, I I saw it on a major news network myself. That's strange. Yes, it is. I, I I've never heard of. Yeah, I, that's why I asked. I don't know if I've ever heard. There are worse terms. Of phrases that being I've like, are there other phrases that are banned? Aliens. No idea. Felix said you could get fined for derogatory terms for gender too, which I never heard of. What do you mean? Like if you say <clears throat> you're a man, and they're like, yeah, no, I'm I not. have no idea. Yeah, what is that? That's Felix, can I've you elaborate that. on that? Uh, Joanne Krupe Asher said this world is full of BS. I'm not changing how I speak. So there you go. I guess you can't say illegal alien anymore if you're in New York City. Pete, as, that was very funny. Uh, as a derogatory joke. term towards people. Yeah, this country's not as free as it used to be, huh? I I just think people are, I think, like, people are getting bogged down by things. There's so many other things that Yeah, I just don't understand how you can right ban now. a phrase when we have free speech. So I think it's going to be if somebody <laughs> tests it, which I don't think anybody's is going it, to enforce is it. Is it the only thing ever banned with a fine attached? No idea. No idea. I only read this article. It didn't happen to say. It didn't happen to say if another phrase was banned or. Yeah. No huh. idea. Um, isn't illegal alien a legal term that is within our legal system? I can. I have no idea. It's just. It's all insane. So yeah, a lot of a lot of forms have to be changed now. Yeah, so but I think if somebody does get, you know, if somebody does fight this and they take it to the Supreme Court, it's going to be, you know, and more money wasted, and Just it's going to be on their side. Work on other stuff. Yeah, because you can't f- ban a phrase. Like I said, we have free speech in this country, or do we? They just want us to think we have free speech, but we don't. We're just <sighs> puppets. <clears throat> Yes. Uh, all right, so I'm looking it up, and it says that there are no banned words, but there are but there are restrictions on speech. For example, and I disagree with this. For example, right, you can be prosecuted for yelling fire in yeah, a crowded theater. That. But well, that's that not I phrase. That's, no, that that's I a know. false alarm. You're putting people in danger right. when you, yell, when yes. you say that. So that's. That's not exactly the phrase. That I agree the, with. You don't oh, want to yell fire in a in a crowd. Or I that, agree with, yeah. but it's not the phrase that's banned. It's the action. Yes, so correct. I, so I disagree with it in this conversation. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any banned So if Martians limits. land in Queens, what are you going to call them? <laughs> this is Undocumented yeah, this is strange. visitors? I don't know what yeah. we could all could call them. I have no idea. And is it is it the... Which word is the is it illegal? Like what it, is it? it what bothers me? I don't know. Alien? The article said the term illegal alien. It didn't. So you want to take a ride on the island here somewhere and find some and ask them what they think? I mean, I don't. Uh, this is yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. This reminds me of George Carlin's. Uh, yes, gender is also no more he she birth certificates male female X. Let the kids decide. Let the kid decide. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that either. Well, that's not a. But that's not a law like this is. No, that's an option. Yeah, that's an option. Like, let the kid decide their gender. Yeah. You know. Because it, it does come up. Yeah. You know. Well, look at Emily. Well, yeah, right? but a lot of people are born with <laughs> um, uh, ambiguous genitalia. You know, so you have to, a lot of times in hospitals, they just decide for the baby right <clears> then and there. And I don't think they do that anymore, you know. So, you know, it makes right, sense. De- Keep de- it off. December 17th, 2017, the Washington Post put out an article. The CDC gets a list of forbidden words. Right. The Trump administration is prohibiting officials at the nation's top public health agency from using a list of seven words or phrases, including fetus, including transgender, 
this, this was an official document being prepared for next year's budget. So this would be 2018. I don't know if it, if it went through or not, but this, the, I'm reading an old article, uh, an article that's almost two years old. Uh, the forbidden words, right. vulnerable, entitlement, diversity, transgender, fetus, evidence-based, and science-based. <laughs> what? I'm just the CDC can't use those, those that terminology. That's funny. okay. But is that in New York City or is that all over the place? No, it's all over. The CDC is like all the over. The whole country, right? yeah. Oh, all right. I was just curious about New York City, but all right. Well, I, I looked up I looked up the U.S. banned words in the U.S. and this is what I'm all finding. Right. Uh, I didn't uh, know alien was a bad word. <clears throat> Who knows anymore? Right, they're illegal. I mean, it, it's just a fact. It's not like a. I mean, of course, you, you know. The N word, of course, yeah, that's that's not a fact. That was just a derogatory term. But this Correct. isn't this isn't a derogatory. I don't know. Well, what did the Blasio have to say? Pete said my genitalia is ambiguous. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, like I wonder. Usually they would say you are not allowed to use this word. Please use this word from now on. They didn't do that. They didn't. You know. Right. I, I honestly have no idea. Just. Are I, you all right? No, it's. Are you really, uh, like, you seem completely off today. Yeah. Are you mad about this? No. Oh, so what's the matter? Nothing. Well, something. Nothing. Is there something you can, you don't want to talk about on the air? No. Is it, does it involve us? Yes. Do, oh, seriously? I knew it. Yeah. I'm always no, he's in trouble. No, not serious. What? You're not serious. Totally. <laughs> I, you got me for a second. <laughs> Uh, uh, Dennis is not going to be watching us next Friday. He's going to an Albany conference <coughs> for the LGBT. No, I have nothing to, uh, LGBTQ network. I hope you guys are all missing. Yeah, so, uh, well, you have fun at that conference. And, no, I'm not. Uh, I have nothing to say on this because it's just, to me, it's completely yeah. ridiculous. Well, you brought it up. I know. Thanks. But I'm just saying it's ridiculous. Oh, right. I, I can't even <laughs> argue the merits of it. The, 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 it's ridiculous. All right, so we'll move yeah. on. So I hopefully. No, no, you can still talk about Actually, it. Actually, I wanted to go back to the baseball managers. <gasps> Oh, huh? well, well, we got to call But it, it's got to be if they take it to the su- Supreme Court. You know what I mean? You're live on the Knock'em Dead Comedy Radio Show. Who's this? Hi, Tony. Hi, Eric. Hi. Is that Dennis? Yes. Hi. Oh, it's yeah, Dennis again. I'm- Next Friday, you'll be not watching us because you'll be on your way to a meeting in Albany for the LGBTQ community. You forgot to say hi yeah. to Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, so, next, that's right, next week. What, what's this conference all about? It's like for LGBTQ. Yeah, but what, what about them? I'm going to go out there and, and speak about my ass. Oh, okay. You're going to speak yeah. about your ass? <clears throat> no, I said my ass. You know, like me, me, me enjoying all that junk. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were going to... F- fighting for for certain rights? Is that what's going on? Yeah, something like, something like that, yeah. Okay. And and what, there's a whole bunch of people going up there? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to come back into like sudden Saturday morning. Very nice. Send, uh, well, if you do get up to speak, send us a video. Oh, I will definitely will. Very nice. That's uh, That sounds very interesting. It's a really nice time of year up there. I used to live up there. It's uh, Fall so, should start up there a little bit early. You can all dance in the streets. And you can show everybody your ass. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, well, Tony, Tony said. This is Tony. No, there's video. That's Eric right there, Dennis. Eric, Sally, Tony. Next all right, very nice. Well, have a good time. Yep. But we'll talk uh, to you before. Be we'll talk to you before then. Oh yeah, definitely you know that. Excellent, Eric. Your hair looks crazy today. Thank you. Yeah, Eric. <laughs> Doesn't it always look <laughs> crazy, Dennis? Yes, yeah, no, it does. Doesn't look Is that, that my glasses different. On? De- Dennis, let me ask you this: If you didn't have Dorian, would you ask Eric out on a date? Yes, he would. Yes, I would. Yes. Wow. See, told you. Well, Dennis was isn't wearing his glasses. I'm right very now. sexy. <laughs> Hey, Eric, you look like a rock star today, Eric. Yeah, I do. You put your glasses on. Definitely, you put, put your glasses on. Then you look like a rock star. It's all the way over there. <laughs> They're all the way over there. Yeah, the the rock stars uh, can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, Dennis? <clears throat> well, he can't see you yet, but it's on right. a delay. But I put him on. I don't know what rock star it, uh, <laughs> what rock star it looks like. He looks like Bon Joey. Yes, I do. Bon Joey. Yes, I do. You. That's right, Dennis. I look like Bon. Did you wow. just hit your head on the God, wall? I came back laughing, and I hit my head. Nah. 
I am as sexy as Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. You got it. Wow. Hey, I think hey, you, say, you say Bon Jovi. Eric just thinks anchovies. And nah, bon nah, nah. And <laughs> Boo. I know Kumba Johnny yelled at me the other night for telling a bad joke on Rodia's show. Oh, did he? What yeah. did he say? I don't remember. It wasn't remember. that bad. No, it was bad. John Brett's watching. Hey, John. But, yeah, he got it on did. me. I forget what he said. All right, ready? Dennis, about two seconds. You're going to see my glasses going. Then then you can tell me how sexy I am. Yeah, I want to see. I'm watching you guys right now. If you, yeah. I see you, put you, you look like Elton John. No, 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 no. He looks like Bon Jovi or uh, yeah. Aerosmith. Or who? Aerosmith. Yes, Aerosmith. Oh, Aerosmith? Yes. All right, Dennis. Hey, guys. Dennis, yeah, you've just cool. gone too far, Dennis. Dennis, you 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 just you watch the show and you you think about me Aerosmith, and how sexy I am. Aerosmith used up grandfather, maybe. <laughs> oh, you look like a really rock star now. See, that's oh, what I'm talking God. about. You just you just sit there and watch this show and you think about how sexy I am the whole time. Oh, I'm don't even look at Tony and Bonnie. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> you just look at me. The whole right. time. Dennis, what, make sure, maybe when you go up to Albany, there's a good eye doctor to get new glasses. John Brett thinks you look like uh, No, no, no. I got glasses. They're pretty good. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, John Brett says Jack Black? Yes. <laughs> Andy, you're the Andy's shock watching. Shock. Shouldn't he be in here? Andy, get in here. He's probably on his way. <laughs> Dennis, is your Friday going to be, uh, you know, watching me and thinking about me? You know, mm. I'm going to watch the show, and I'm thinking about my fiance. I'm going to be there. Oh, well, you, you can fantasize about, you know, other men. No, not a week before he gets married. Oh, that's true. What's well, wrong you with you? Do that. Are you having a bachelor party, Dennis? Nope. Oh, because I'll dance for you. Yeah, we can send Aerosmith over there to dance for you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fuck that thing. You got to look how that is. <laughs> and you don't have to pay for it either. He'll pay you. Oh boy, that's funny. <laughs> Nobody's gonna want to pay to see this. <laughs> right, I'm taking my glasses off. They're bothering me. Oh, oh, and just like that, no like more Bon Jovi. So I do what I want. It's like Clark Kent and Superman. It just now it doesn't no, look like Bon Jovi anymore. anymore. Pete you take Jenkins says off. that with your glasses on, you look like um, the ugly one in Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Eric looks more like James Corden. That's nice. The move is about. The move is oh the move is to have one piece of the glasses in your mouth. I think Dennis has a braille phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, let's see. This is just That's this, so is, great. this is for you, Dennis, right? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. You're gonna mess up his wedding. Just like this, watch. No. Oh <laughs> Don't jump, I say he's a knucklehead. Who? <laughs> Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's a knucklehead. Oh. He is. Yeah. See, Andrew is driving. See, he's on his way in. Well, don't be texting when you're driving, you and knucklehead. Joanne, James Corden is uh, sec- the sexiest man alive. He just won it in uh, People Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. All right, there you go, Dennis. All right, well, you have a great day. You too. All I'll right, bye-bye, you. Dennis. <laughs> my tennis needs glasses. Oh, my goodness. This- I look like. What did he say? I look like John Bon Jovi. That's what he said. And then where do you get? I look like I hate from? John Bon Jovi. <laughs> like where do you get Aerosmith from? Like there's no feature. Like not there's even the no same fat guy eye. in Aerosmith at all. Not even the Bradley well, there's Whitford. There's no like the blonde drummer, Joey Kramer. Anything? The, yeah. Well, the the bass player. Yeah, bass the bass player is blonde. Brad Joe Whitford. Bradley Whitford. Yeah, he's blonde. Uh, Tall and blonde. Tall and blonde and thin. And thin. And Joey Kramer, he's he's kind of blonde. Kinda. I guess. Um, do wow. we do we want to mention the possible special guest that's calling in, or should we wait to see if he calls in? I guess I would wait to see if he calls in. We've been burned so many times. I know. Like I told you this morning, I'm like he strikes me as a guy who would actually wake up and do this. I feel bad because it would be cool. It would have been cool to like promote it, and that's bo- why I'm su- suggesting that we say it because that way, in hopes of right promotion. Yeah, but it's too late now. <coughs> Only the people watching are still going to be watching. Well, the people that are watching may call up a friend and say, if you love that comedian, ah. hey, I heard you love that. Oh, I just gave it away. It's a comedian. You, yes, it is a comedian. It's it is a com- comedian. Comed- comedian. You're not allowed to say comedian anymore. Uh, you could find in New York City. Oh, yeah. So Joan said, I forgot I was going to come back to it when Dennis um, went back to thinking about Eric Naked. 
Um, what? Blah. Blah. She said, Joan said, I think undocumented is okay. You just can't say oh. that a human is illegal. Like, you don't want to say a person's illegal. Yeah, but their status, see, that's the thing. Uh, their I status totally is illegal. It. Like, but that's the adverb. Illegal aliens. Mm-hmm. So you're calling them an alien, and their status is illegal. Like, like, you, you know, know, like so fat man. Undocumented. Well, that's just a matter of opinion. Right. So. What, fat man? Yes. Yeah. Oh, true. Because in your case, you're not a man. Sorry. Not nice. I hope good boy Johnny yells at you again. <laughs> Ambiguous genitalia. <clears throat> um, why did you good boy Johnny yell at you, by the way? I don't remember what I said. What I was said, the joke? You don't even uh, remember the joke? It was something, you know, as like bad as that. Does. You know. And what did he say? Like, I, what, He's what like, oh, that? we should just end the show with that. You were just so funny. That was unbelievable. I don't know how we could top that. He was salty, huh? Yeah, he was a little uh, feisty the, the, the little other cranky. night. Yeah, he was feisty. Huh. He was he, salty. I mean, going after Blanger's... Uh, the birthday boy going after his outfit. Really? Oh, right. D- yeah. Didn't like his shirt, apparently. And they're both Chiefs fans. Yes. Which is rare. Well, he was, I think. Yeah. But I think that's the thing. He had a very special Chiefs hat. Yeah. That he left on the train when he came out here. So he was, Maybe I that's think. What, that's oh. What, that's what set him off. So he's off. wearing his Chiefs hat and he left it. Well, that's his fucking fault. And he must have been talking about it for a while because Anthony Rodia was like, you know, I'm just going to go and get you another hat. He's like, you can't get me that kind of hat. This hat is special. So Yeah, you can't find it anywhere in the world on eBay well, or no, anywhere. Well, that's his apparently point. Apparently it was a well, yeah, special Yeah, apparently one. it wasn't like a common hat. Apparently it was, or maybe it had a sentimental value. Maybe I, I don't could, know. Maybe. All right. But that's different. If it had a sentimental he value. Didn't, he didn't specify why this hat was a special hat, but it meant a lot to him, and he was... Uh, Tommy said he looks actually good-looking, rugged like a marble man, but in later years, he'll turn into Wilford Brimley. <laughs> that means ugly. Hey, you're live on the Knock'em Dead Comedy Radio Show. Who's this? Hello? Hello. Oh, see? Maybe it was the guest. He, he's like, who the hell are these morons? You morons? called him ugly the second before he started to talk. No, I was talking to him. I know, but he doesn't know that. You what, which, which line did he call? What did you, you do? You called line, our special guest ugly. Was it line one? No, I'm messing oh, with you. Oh, God, you scared me. Oh, you scared me. She, get, she, you did, she got me. You scared me. She got me. I really thought I thought she was telling me the truth. Rocky Talese is watching. <clears throat> What's up, Rocky? Hi, How Rocky. are you? Isn't Rocky director something? Doesn't he direct movies or something, Rocky Talese? I don't think so. I, I, my apologies if I'm wrong. Uh, I, I don't know. Cool name. Oh, good. He watches all the time. Oh, okay. Never mind. I, then I'm thinking of somebody else, probably. <clears throat> I thought Rocky was a friend of yours. I thought Rocky was a friend of yours. Well, I mean, he is since his show, but I don't. I didn't know him. I don't know him personally, and I didn't know him before the show. No, no. Oh, I, for some reason, I thought you knew no. him. No, Rocky. Don't know who are you? Here. <laughs> who are you, Rocky? I thought you were. I thought you might have been mixing him up with somebody. No, else. I think in the beginning we knew a lot of people, but now. Right. There's a lot yeah. of people we just don't know. I thought you were confusing with another director, or, you know, somebody else. Oh, no, 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 no. That one I know. I thought there was another one. Somebody else. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who's involved with, you know, the guy that with the bad pizza plays. 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 Uh. The guy I didn't threaten. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You just went to talk to him. I did go to talk to him. Right. I didn't threaten him at all. I just said, no. I'd like to talk to you. Come over here and let's talk face-to-face, man to man. I even said, maybe we could put an end to this crap. Right. I said that. Right. But now he's telling people I threatened him. Yeah. Well, what did, well. And set up other so-called comics to indirectly take a shot at me last night. Right. Right. I hate, I really do hate playing the, this game. Well, I mean, it is what it is. You can't, you can't get involved with him. <clears throat> Here's why you can't get involved with him. And you can't engage him. Because whatever you do, he'll twist and deceive mm-hmm. and lie about. That's number one. And then number two, like I've told many, many people, many, many people, you cannot win an argument with a moron. <laughs> you cannot win. Why? Because if you win... Because you're a moron. No, because if you win the argument, what did you win? You won an argument with a moron. Well, that's the thing. I wasn't looking to... No, but I'm just saying, if you win, you lose because it's it's like picking a fight with a second grader. You're going to win. But that's the point. I wasn't looking to win anything. Right. I, just, My I point, just like it all to stop. You, you're never going to get a moron to stop. You're never going to get a moron to stop. Wait a minute. What? 
Rocky Tilly says he's Joey Cola's best friend. Oh. Well, now I'm going to fight him. I thought I was Joey Cola's best friend. Oh, no. Rocky! He's Rocky, a, let's arm wrestle, and whoever wins is Joey Cole's best friend. He's a director at JFK. A director at uh, the airport? Yeah. Yeah, he probably directs planes. He probably is one of those guys that with the with the uh, <clears throat> with the arrows uh, and the f- lights. The f- the the, um, uh, the, uh, the F yeah the FTA F sure FAA FAA FAA. You know Jim Dykeman? Rocky. <laughs> we'll wait for his answer. Yeah, just two wait. minutes later. But yeah, you can't argue with a moron because you will not win. If you win the argument, what did you win? You won an argument with a moron, and there's no prestige in that. So you well, lost. Again, but that's the thing. I, like I said, I'm not looking no, to win. No, I get I it, but you can't stop. even engage him because he's so stupid. <clears throat> he's beyond stupid. He really is. He's beyond stupid. He's beyond a rat. He's beyond a scumbag. He's beyond that. He's like no other human on this earth. He's literally a walking piece of garbage. <laughs> and in order to... You just got to yeah, take I the tra- you just got to take the trash out of your life and move on. That's it. He's a piece of garbage. You take the trash out of your life. Anybody who associates with him, you just walk away. Oh, you like him? <laughs> well, <clears throat> have fun with that and let them learn their own lesson. That's right. it. I wish we would have listened to other people, you know, over a year ago. Cuz you know, we we certainly were warned. <clears throat> and now like I like I feel like Right. I feel like we have so much information about what he's like that I wish he would just knock it the fuck off so that we don't have to, you know. I want to take the high ground because I kind of like to do that in life. Right. Because I don't think it's worth it. And I yeah. think, you know, people make choices every day about what the kind of person they're going to be. Right, right. And so I don't need, I don't really like kicking people down. But, you know, you take it so much that it after a while you're like, all right. Now I'm done. <laughs> you know? Danny said, this is why I never f- had a fight with Eric. He tried to bait me into it, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> um, uh, Tommy Mc- Michael McNulty wants to know who the li- low life words we're talking about. I mean, I'll say it is Dan Romano. He's, yeah, you know, he's the, no the idiot that. we fired from here who then claimed his contract <laughs> ran up when he didn't have a contract to begin with. And if anybody ever wants to see it, I'll be more than happy to show you. There were no term limits on the contract. Um... Yeah, so, we have a binding contract to sue him, and he still won't shut his freaking mouth. Right, and he's just he's just going to sit there and lie, and so that's why I don't engage him because he's just going to take what you what you do and twist it and lie and deceive and try to make friends. But the guy's a moron. He's fighting so many battles. He doesn't. He can't keep his own lies straight, and he's fighting so many battles. So many people hate him that he's fighting on so many different fronts, and he can't keep up. So when you went to go talk to him, and you went to go talk to him, you didn't have a bat in your hand, you didn't have a knife oh, or a no. gun. Or I, I have no problem admitting I was mad. Right. But, but I would, no, I, no. You went to go talk to him. Right. If I was going right. to fight him, well, then I would have walked in and hit him. But I didn't. Right. And he actually demanded that I not walk in. I actually stopped, and I said it to him. I stopped at the doorway, and I said, okay. I said, out of respect to you. Out of respect to you. Because he I'm, cried like a little girl. Tony, don't come in here. <laughs> Tony, don't come in here. He wouldn't come anywhere near me. I'll tell you that. Right. Yeah, he wouldn't even come out from behind the counter. No, he wouldn't come out from behind the right. counter. Right. So he talks a big game on <clears throat> Facebook, and that's who that's who he is. Right, and that's what I said to him. Right, and that's who he is. He talks a big game on Facebook. He tries to he tries to manipulate. He's a like I said, he's a walking piece of garbage. And the best way to treat garbage is just take it out of your life, <laughs> Felix, and that's it. Felix says he likes Dan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can join his network if he ever has one. But, well, um, if, well, he'll get one, you know, because he's begging for money so he can start. Right. One. Yeah, I remember that post. <clears throat> one day, so quickly quickly after we fired him, he said to everybody, I'm going to open my own comedy club, and he was going to go to war with governors. And then two days later, he wanted to open his own podcast networks and asked three for people for $3,000 to start his own network. And then that didn't work, so then he came back here begging for uh, his show back. Right. So if you have enough money to buy a comedy club, I think you have enough money to start your own network for $3,000. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you know maybe he got lucky and got a credit card in the mail for seven fifty, and bought his own equipment. <laughs> yeah, that works well because he too. can't afford gas money. Oh, uh, anyway, who's the guy when we first started? Who's the guy who called in <clears throat> who was saying that Dan said things about him being disabled? What was that guy's name? Al. I think it was Jim or Al, one of them. It was Al. yeah, and I remember that like story how you know he was talking about like how you know Dan 
would say things about, you know, him being disabled and stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, it's just like, it's just like one person. And we were trying, he wanted to come in here. And I'm like, all right, everyone has a story. Let's figure this out. And then, you know, like, he can't go a week without talking about, you know, oh, I'm going to use uh, some guy's prosthetic leg to hit you with it. Like, he can't leave Tony alone. Tony never posts anything against the guy. And he no, can't leave Tony I. alone. No. Then, like, like, I don't know, it was like a few months ago, we did, remember we did the, um, the we played against the blind baseball team? Yeah. So we did that. And, you know, all of us got together and we played against this great blind baseball team. And the rules were very different. Like you, like you just ran to first base or you ran to third base or you, you had to be, you had to be, uh, when you mm-hmm. were up at bat, you were blindfolded. You had to be very quiet because, you know, they use their ears. They can't, like, that's how they play. The, 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 the ball sounds, they, there's their sound equipment so that they know where to run and get the ball when they're in the field. And we were given these rules right in the beginning. Right. We couldn't, like, you, n- normally when you play shortstop or second base, you're kind of right in the middle of, of the baseline. Uh, when we were in the field, when sighted people were in the field, we had to be um, kind of past that point. Like you were in the outfield. You were in the outfield, and and which was great because they actually hit very far, so it ended up working out good anyway. Dan cheated against these blind people numerous times. Can you say that? Blind people? Sorry. Keep Sight saying. impaired. Oh, okay. The entire game. Yeah. He was asked numerous times to stop cheating, and he wouldn't explain. You it, were there. Listen, it's a, it's a, I don't have to explain. Basically, you know all you need to know about this scumbag when you say numerous times he tried to cheat against a blind softball team. That's all you need to know what kind of person like he is. I was, it wasn't That's it. funny. Like, we were actually No, it was angry. actually disgusting. We were, like, we were disturbed. We were right. like, Dan, stop yelling out. Hit when our player is up so right. that they know when to hit. You don't have to do that. They're you don't have to do that. Um, Dan, get away from playing <laughs> shortstop and get in the outfield. <clears throat> he was told numerous times not to be close so that he could get the ball fast and get these blind people out. Right. So it, basically, that's all you need to know about this person. So all the all the God blesses and all the I did this for charity and I did that for charity. You do nothing. He probably steals all the money. I don't know that for a fact, but that's just my opinion. And he, and he like I said, he cheated against a blind softball team. That's all you need to say to any normal human being. Any normal human being, any person with an ounce of sense in their head, with an ounce of brain in their heads, would go... Throughout the entire game. Would go, he cheated against a blind softball team? Yeah, not once. Numerous times he attempted to cheat. Yeah. I just... That's all you need to say. That's all you need to say. And anybody, anybody... We had to have a meeting, like, between the three of us and our salesperson that we would no longer talk to him on the phone because he twisted every single thing. Everything had to be in writing. Like, if he he called us, we'd have to text him, no, Dan, you have to write us. You have to put things in writing because everything you say is a lie. Right. I would no longer speak to him. I would just say, email me. Email me, Dan. I got to go. Then he would go to other hosts and say, oh, you know what those guys are saying? No, you can't do that anymore because everything we say from now on in between (laughs) us and you... Is in writing. We had we had to do that, and they would he would still lie about us. Right, right. So he's just like I said. You take the garbage out of your life. You block them. You know. I mean, the, and the only reason I know he sa- still says things about us because other people tell me. I don't go searching his page. I could care less because once the idiot does post something, it gets two likes and no comments or one comment, and it's usually him commenting yeah. on his own post. Right. <laughs> so you know what? Dan is Dan is nominated for an Oscar for Streets. <laughs> yeah, well, if you ever want to waste money, rent that thing and watch this idiot. <laughs> so. All right, bigger and better things. Yes, I, I, I would prefer yeah, we treat him like the bagel guy and not ever talk about him again because he's just a scumbag. Um, although the bagel guy did get arrested for drugs again. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that or not. No, I heard a few days ago. Yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 he was smoking a vape pen in in a golf course parking lot. Like, why wouldn't you do that at home? You know what I mean? Why would you do that in a golf course parking lot? And then he complained about the food he got while he was in jail. 
Well, I thought he didn't. He doesn't have a home, right? Does he live in a car or something? I don't or a motorhome? I, or something? I have no. To be honest, I have no idea. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Um, What's worse, cheating on your wife or cheating against a blind softball team? Blind softball team. The wife probably deserves it. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Ah! No, but I'm saying y- you've got very low morals when you're cheating numerous times against a blind softball team. Very low morals. Yep. So anyway. All right. So speaking of softball, all right, I wanted to go back to the managers, but before, without even going back to that, are we waiting for Andrew for the Max, Max Singer? Because that'll cheer you up. Oh, no. We could do it now, I guess. Because I don't know if Jay... Uh, oh! I don't know if Jay Moore is calling in. You gave it away. I did. I screwed it up. All right. All right. So, we'll give it, so we'll give it a few more minutes. Supposedly, Jay Moore is calling in today. Jay Moore, Long Island native. Right. No, that's not true. He's from New Jersey. New Jersey, right? Uh, Jay Moore. The one and only Jay Moore who is performing here at Governor's tonight and tomorrow it, you know, it's very weird because I want to. I'm happy we have work. I ha- I'm happy that we have our own live shows. Yes, but, but at the same time, it's unfortunate because I would love to see Jay Moore. Yes, but uh, well, pick pick. What's your priority, Tony? Are you conflicted? No. Is there darkness within you? But no. Oh, okay. Ah. No, no. Of course, we do our own show, but I, it it's you know it's sad that we have to miss it. Felix said, "Cheating on a blind softball team." I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay Moore playing here at Governor's tonight and two shows tomorrow night. He is great. Make sure you go see him. Uh, we are expecting a call from him soon. Hopefully, we get it. There was only four <clears throat> mass singers yesterday, not eight like there was last week. So it gets oh, yeah? a little bit. I think no. Wait a minute. The but two hour premiere. Oh, so, so that was why they had eight. <laughs> now it's back down to four, which is thank God good. Yeah, it was a little hard to and follow. And one person did get. So one person. It was on get, when Wednesday. Wednesday night. I saw who was revealed just because I did it by accident. Ah, uh, you suck. Well, I started another show, and the last like minute, the person was on it, and I don't even know who she was. You don't know she? How do you not know who she is? I have no idea who she is. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, what's the matter with you? What's that? Oh, it's Andy. Yeah. I got it. Oh, the I didn't even hear it. The door. The door is knocking. There's an animal in trouble. Andrew played Jonas. There's an animal in trouble. Plaginus. Is it Plaginus? Plag- Say it to his Plaginus. face. Plaginus. 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 That's my vote. Plaginus. It's Plaginus. Right. Yeah. Oh, the phone's ringing. Is it line one? Plaginus. Is it line one? Plaginus. No. You're live on the Knock'em Dead Comedy Radio Show. Who's this? Hello. Your Google business listing Damn, might oh, not be they, claimed now and they verified. Came to line three? <coughs> wow. That stinks. That's weird. Hmm. Hello, Andy. Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. Hey, Andy, can you close that? You're Sorry. all about yeah. French today. You said uh, après vous, now you're saying bonjour. <laughs> but look at his shirt. <laughs> Is that Japanese? So oh, it's a giant squirrel. I know it's not Mandarin because I my kid takes Mandarin, so I know what it, that looks like. So then you know by well, that's so Japanese. That's so what I mean. An American American like, I, Mandarin I know is Chinese. I know, but French. I said is that oh. Japanese? I know it's not ah, that I usually uh-huh. see on the homework table. Uh huh. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Andy's here. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's it's French Andy today. <clears throat> today. Yes. <laughs> French. An American speaking French with a Japanese shirt. He's the walking United Nations. Uh. I'm Irish, Greek, He's an Italian, illegal and alien. Oh, so. there you go. Wow, Derek Mutiswa said he called this week's mass Singer reveal. Please ask Jay Moore about half slices. What does that mean? I'm not. I'm not asking him because that came from Dan. Scumbag cheats blind <clears throat> softball players. Yeah, well, uh, I might run into him tomorrow. Says Bonnie, but I have to <clears throat> YouTube him because I don't know who he is. I guess she's talking about Jay Moore. Yeah. She, oh, really? You don't she know still who Jay doesn't Moore know is? who he is. No. Bonnie, how did you get into comedy? Like, who did you, like, did anybody inspire you? Like, because she doesn't know anybody. She knows no one. Did you think you were the one who started it? What, comedy? (laughs) Yeah. She's like, I'm going to start a club. Oh, look, I can tell jokes. I don't know. What do you think? And you're going to be performing tonight. Tonight, yes. At Barton's Place. Barton's Place in In Mount uh, Sinai. Yes. You said that last time. Bucolic, Bucolic Mount Sinai. Yes. And you're going to have a, you're going to have a great time. Absolutely. Paul Bond is headlining. Terry Neely's nice. on it. Oh, Ooh. good names. Yes. You're going to have a lot of fun. 
tons of fun. Tons of fun. So you, it's Friday. You let your people leave again? Yeah, well, I actually left, left before they did. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Well, but you know what that means. They're they left like a minute yeah, after. Yeah, they're all <laughs> no, no, absolutely. They, I told they, them. I'm like, leave when I leave. The and they're like, looking. no, we're still working. What? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, we're still working. No, boss. They didn't still... at all do that. They're we're like, going to work overnight. They're like, no, boss, you leave. We're just going to get a lot more done when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> I actually made sure I didn't tell uh, the main guy that does most of the uh, mm. molding. And uh, I was like, all right, I, I got to go just so I could see the <laughs> look on his face. He gets very, what? Well, he's just like, why the hell are you leaving? What? Because right. it's have, my business, right. damn it. You're my minion. Right. We have plastic to mold. <laughs> <laughs> dare you? No. How dare you? Can you make a mold of somebody's face? Uh, I guess <laughs> that would be possible. Uh, Never tried it? No, no. You're just into plastic, not latex. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no so latex. no sex toys, Tony. Relax. No. And oh, sort no, of a, a rubber, like a, like a soft <laughs> rubber. Okay. So why not I sex toys? I don't know. Ask Andy. <laughs> what are you asking me for? That's I don't know. You brought it up. They're, no. They're, they're, no, I brought it They're up. primarily probably made in China where it's like ridiculously cheap. Mm. But, a pla- uh, but a plastic. You can make a face out of plastic, no? Yeah. The problem would be to um, like the cutting tools. Now this is where it gets, it's going to get really boring. <laughs> yes. The cutting tools all have... Um, Different teeth. 90 degree edges, oh. really. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So you would have to get something that was like so small. But there is like wire EDM... Then it gets expensive. Uh, but we don't those really, wire we don't EDMs, really do, they yes. get you every time, those damn, damn EDMs. I, that's why I left the business. <laughs> yes. That's why I That's why I left. <laughs> the EDMs were just too... I couldn't spell it. Electronic dance machines? What are they? What Pretty is much. that? <laughs> I don't, you know what? I don't even know right. what that stands for because we don't do it. Yeah, well, there so we I refuse to learn it. I, w- I was thinking, you know, <clears throat> of hanging, you know, like smiley faces and stuff. That's what I was thinking. Or, or plastic molds of, like, famous people's. Famous comedians. Ooh, that's a good idea. We well, you know. I I sent Eric a message that I I feel like you guys should do a show sometime where it's like three people that kind of look like you guys but aren't you guys. Wasn't that an I Carly episode? Or like children? Really? <laughs> like children dressed as you guys? Oh, that's not a bad <laughs> oh, yeah, idea. We we could do that. <laughs> we should do that. Can we do that? The kid will probably still be taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> can we do it? Or re- reverse gender everybody? Yes. With can, oh, can we say that? I don't know. Um, for let's say that. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad all the controversial stuff got. I, I was listening on the way. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I like your. I liked your. You sent a couple of uh, of uh, skits that you wrote, <laughs> and we're gonna have to figure out a day to write. You know, like really record them. Yes. And knock that out of the park. Uh, <laughs> who would <laughs> shoot my load? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> who would you? Uh, all right. So who would you pick? To uh, to play us then, if you know, if we're not here, yeah, that would be difficult. I uh, <laughs> pick people you know. Pick <laughs> well, pick okay, modern so, day comedians. Well, mm. it wasn't even like famous, famous people. or I'm Long talking Island. About Long Island. Like right. I was thinking straight up Long Island. Uh, Sally, I mean, <clears throat> uh, Dennis Murphy already pretty much cast Sally. Okay, <laughs> so Bonnie, Bonnie <laughs> for <laughs> Sally. Okay, fair it enough. Have to be. It would okay. actually have to be Bonnie. I can't see anybody else. All right, uh, doing that. Um, I think Mandy Jones for me. And uh, Jim Raya for Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe Wednesday night. <laughs> and do it on a Wednesday night. Okay, so who would you pick for me? Uh, see, I, that, I hadn't gotten that far. Oh. Um, Drew Carey. Drew Carey. Oh, that would be fun. Did you see that? I believe it's this week or next week on ABC. They're having uh, – oh, shit. I forgot what they branded it. But they branded it throwback. Oh, so they're doing what they did, like with All in the Family? <clears throat> no, 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 okay. not at all. They're doing it's. Th- I forgot what it's called. Back to some, they're basically having eighty sitcom stars do cameos on all their latest. So, like the Drew eighties and nineties, the Drew Carey show is gonna be on American Housewife, which because one of their cast members is on that as the husband. Oh. Um, then mm-hmm. they're gonna have the the uh, Kirstie Alley, George Went, and John Ratzenberger, and Leah Perlman on. Shit, another show on ABC. I so they're going to have the Cheers one. cast. <laughs> it's a so, show called Shit. Shit, shit, yeah. shit, shit. I forgot the name of it. So they're <laughs> on actually ABC I actually like the idea. Yeah, so yeah. they're going to have a lot of old sitcom stars, you know, Filling making in. comebacks. Who yeah, is, that's cool. uh, which show is the star of Manimal going to be on? Manimal? I don't, is he still alive? <clears throat> Probably not. Simon something? Wasn't it I Simon can't, I, You know what? I can't even remember. Simon Pelpeter. Is Sledgehammer. What about great. Max Headroom? Is he making No. He could know because he was on The Walking, The Fear of the Walking Dead for a little while. Oh, was he? Yes. Oh, I didn't did not know. know that. He just got killed. 
Really? Yeah, he was on for like Oh, half great. I was maybe going to watch that yeah, 10, no, 10 years from now. No, he got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> and now I'll just be waiting for that to happen. Eric, yeah, would, ever... Eric could be played by the fat kid from The Man Show, says Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that kid? That kid was funny. When he asked for oh, beer and everything? Yes, and it would would uh, help women across the street and like call the young women old. Like, you're so old. <laughs> yeah, that you, was you can bad. barely make it across the street. Nathan Lane for Eric said uh, Ken Pichel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I could I take that as a compliment. Yeah, you uh, you can work that in the shows. So yeah, I like that about you, Nathan Lane. You act even gayer than him, though. Who you? I have to. That's my character. It's my character. <laughs> well, not tonight. It's acting. Not yes, I'm acting. I do a lot of research for those roles. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Louis C.K. just have a hole in the wall. He could stand on the other side. Oh, did he really? No, that's not how it happened. What, say that again? Louis C.K. What? In for me, I guess. What about Tony? Yeah, what about See, Tony? I think Get actually off. Louis C.K. might be tone, more Tony. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, to, to be the play me? Louis yeah. C.K. Well, just, just to, I mean, right, because I'm bald and it's have the hair. facial and yeah, perverted. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Old and perverted. And a sick, perverted. sick bastard. <laughs> yes. No, Mentally. Just masturbate in front of Sally. That's it. to masturbate. Ugh. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> All the time. All the uh, time. I just did three people. times before we got here. <laughs> or since we got here. I messed up my own joke. See, look. See, look. What? That, see, this. What are you looking at now? See, don't. See, this. This would be who sits in for Eric, right? Come on, look at <laughs> that. Who was that? <laughs> Elton oh, John. God. <laughs> Oh, you know, no, Philip Seymour <coughs> Hoffman, if he I'm didn't so die. Or Sean oh, Astin. Sean sorry. Astin. Uh, yeah. I get Sean Astin a lot. Okay. Billy Joel. Uh, yeah, he gets that too. <laughs> I get that all the time. Gosh. I thought I, uh, you'd be happier about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I'd be happier with my wallet. Oh, oh, I get that. that all the time. I get um, uh, John Stewart. Okay. Okay. Oh, but wow. I, yeah. yeah I can bit. actually make myself look like every Baldwin brother. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> Sam. I like that. Uh, I got tra- John Travolta when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Cause I, and especially when I was in the Air Force, I always had my sideburns were all the way right, right, to right. the limit. And now you have more hair than John Travolta. Yeah. And then now one of my daughters actually talks like John Travolta. John Travolta. Like what? Like Barbarino? Vinny Barbarino. Yeah. What? We have, no clue. we have no clue where it came from. Hey, Dad. Die, you're never gonna believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, look at it. Seriously. I'm like, oh my god. Wow. The other one sounded like Carol Channing when she was younger. <laughs> oh, that must have been fun. Daddy, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I well, was, hello, Dolly. I was wondering if we could get some ice cream after this. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be delightful. I'm like, That's really funny. Where <laughs> did that what, come from? What movies are these kids watching while <laughs> right, I'm at yeah, work? Yeah, right. What is going on here? Unscramble. <laughs> Your wife works, though? Yeah, she's a dental hygienist. Right. Okay, so I was going to say, so it's not her fault that the kids are talking all... No, we blame it on all the people that we've hired to raise our children. Yeah, maybe there was a maybe there was a marathon of uh, sweat hogs on. Yeah. You, you, know? had, you had Carol Channing as your babysitter? Yeah, that's cool. That would have been cool. Uh, ma- but it did also make me look up. She's still alive. Wow. Is she? Yeah. Like, how old? Or maybe she just... I think she, she might just have just died. passed away. Yeah, because like this yes, year, this year, yeah. But Carol- at the time, it was like two or three years I ago. I Carol Brady raised me. Like, I was seriously watched the Brady Bunch way too much as a kid. Mm. Like, she died January... Sally, go watch the Brady Bunch again. January 15th, Carol Channing. Uh, the, this, of this year? year yeah. Wow. And she was... Mrs. Brady was really hot, by the way. I thought so. I gotta so. get that out of the way. Yeah, I thought she was. Still. Ooh, she was 98 years old. Yeah, yeah. She was like oh, wow. super old. Yeah. That was really old. Yeah, she wouldn't have been a very good babysitter <clears throat> anyway. No. She wouldn't have been able to keep up with the kids. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. Though they're, they're really dark, my kids. They're, uh, one Your wife of them. cheated with a black man? Probably. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, they're into <laughs> Beetlejuice, the older one. Oh, you mean they're, they're not their complexion. Right. It's oh, about, okay, sorry. It's about uh, death and dying and whatnot. I actually just posted a picture on Facebook of uh, <clears throat> it's titled River of Souls, and it's three or four people chained at the at the hands, being floating down a river, mm. that my my seven year old daughter drew. Oh, so yeah. I'm waiting for the phone call from yeah, right the school. You'd for be surprised that talk. The pictures <laughs> kids draw. You know, it's like yeah. that's why I didn't let my kids draw pictures. I didn't give them <laughs> paper and pens. I said just yeah. you know, stifle their creativity. <laughs> right, you know. 
crush their souls right from the start. Smack it, uh, smack it. the pen out of the left How hand. Dare Dude, she you? Was, yeah, I'm she telling was, you, she was good looking. In her oh, day. Carol Brady? Yeah, yeah of course she was. Super right? hot. I uh, never liked that flippy thing she had, but other than that, I thought. I guess I wasn't looking at that. Tommy <laughs> said I'm seeing. <laughs> Tommy McNulty said I'm seeing Pee Wee, Tom Green, and Screech. <laughs> I guess for who? I'm not sure. I would guess I would be. Well, maybe Tom I've got, Green. I don't know. Actually, don't know. you know don't what? Know there is kind on. of you, you know what Tony kind of has a Tom Green. There, there's some Tom yeah, Greenness to I'll his. See that. Then who's Screech? Me? Uh, yeah, I'm Screech. Yeah, I'm right. I'm the uh, I'm the creepy guy. You're the Pee Wee. Yeah, you're Pee Wee. I imagine I am. All right. Well, thanks, Tommy. Appreciate that. <laughs> ad time says uh, Ken <coughs> Michelle. Yes, we got to get in our ads oh, you do just in pink. case. Just in case. Yeah, hurry up. Yes. Jay Moore does call. We, oh. we heard he was calling. We're not a hundred percent sure. I know. We're like we don't. I didn't. We didn't want to say it, but then I accidentally slipped and said it. I was like, "What if Jay?" Um, let it out. I was kind of half hoping it was going to be Gilbert. To no, be it's going to be Jay when, Moore. When you guys were teasing it. Yes, teasing. So, uh, Knock'em Dead Comedy, Knock'em Dead Comedy is brought to you by Bella Vista Pizza. Bella Vista Pizza for the best pizza in the whole wide world. Check out Bella Vista Pizza located at 154 Mineta Hill Road in Plainview. That's 154 Mineta Hill Road in Plainview for delicious pizzas, pies, and salads, and wings. He's get yourself you. over. What? He's influenced you. Your ad is longer yeah, sure. and better now. I could get a little bit more. Um, 154 Mineta Hill Road in Plainview, Bella Vista Pizza, bellavistapizza.com, 516-433-4464, bellavistapizza.com, baby, check it out. And also Gina Kajemi Coffin, licensed real estate agent with Signature Premier Properties. That's licensed real estate agent with Signature Premier Properties, 631-495-7696, 631-495-7696. List your house with Gina. She'll work so hard for you and sell your house so fast it'll make your head spin. Head spin. And also Knock'em Dead Comedy, Knock'em Dead Comedy. For the funniest murder mysteries in the whole wide world, check out Knock 'em Dead Comedy. <laughs> Knock 'em Dead Comedy.com forward slash show dates. Do you want to see a boring murder mystery? No. no. No, but if you do, go see the other guys where some crusty old pee pants will walk into the room and say, There's been a murder in the parking lot of somebody you never heard of before, or, never, or a character you never uh, even saw. But uh, And then he'll open up his binder and claim it's a murder at uh, some hotel or something when it's the same old show over and over and over and over and over again. Or do you want to laugh and dance and sing and be part of the action? Yeah. Yes. And you want to see the murder happen right in front of you? Yes, I love yes. murder. The comedic murder happen right in front of you? I also love comedic murder. Yes, comedic murder is the best. And uh, so you check on Knock'em Dead Comedy, knock'emdeadcomedy.com forward slash show dates for all our upcoming dates and information, of which the most important one right now is October, October 25th. 25th. Yes. We're going to be at the brokerage in Belmore. It's a special Halloween event. Uh, costumes and murder, all sorts of Halloween fun. Music and dancing is going to be great. Go to govs.com for more information. Uh, wear your favorite costume, whether it's 80s, because it's an 80s themed show, but you don't have to wear an 80s costume. Wear any costume you want. Uh, just go to govs.com to get uh, your tickets for that show at the brokerage in Belmore, October 25th. Or you can catch us tonight at Frank Stakes in Jericho, tomorrow night at the Riverhead Library. Both great shows. Um, we always have a great time. Tonight is our mob theme murder mystery. Tomorrow night is our 80s theme show. Uh, go to knockemdeadcomedy.com for more information on who we are, what we do, and booking information, our full schedule as well. Uh, once again, Jay Moore is here uh, tonight at Governor's in Levittown, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, it's the River of Souls. Uh, it's the River of Souls. Like great that. song by Billy Joel. Uh, the Little Room tonight, Stevie GB and our friend Frank, Frank Fiala will be with a part of that. Tonight in the Little Room at Governor's, Charlie Bequette and Friends featuring Bonnie Scalisi. Uh, the Brokerage in Belmore tonight, Seton Smith uh, and an open mic. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried is there tomorrow. That's the Brokerage in Belmore. And McGuire's in Bohemia, Vanessa Hollingshead is there all weekend. And, of course, Thursday nights, Sunday nights, you can catch some great shows at all three clubs as well. As well. As well. All right, so I got something. Tip. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Because you're all guys, right? Is it an STD? No. I actually, I kind of wish Courtney was here because she's young and she probably could have helped a little bit more. Okay. So Sam is in his first year of college, and he is he's he was studying for a physiology test the other day yes. in the library. Yes. Really good kid, sitting there in the library, studying his face off. So. Studying yikes. his face off. So he's studying, right? And... He text. He sent me this text. Yes. So this very attractive girl 
straight up just started <clears throat> talking to me. Okay. She was asking me what I was working on in the library. Yeah. We had some funny conversations. I asked her for her number. She said sure, and I followed her on Instagram. And just so you know, like this was probably petrifying for Sam. Like oh. he is like, he hasn't had girlfriends, so he's like, oh my god, you know, like it's finally, you know. Right. So I walked with her to her next class. Oh. I said mm. she Boom. had pretty Boom. eyes. Boom. Mm. She said that she had a boyfriend that she was meeting up with him. She said she only started talking to me because she realized we might be in the same major or something. And then he said, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> if you have a boyfriend, don't talk to us. Meaning like men, I guess. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. So that's he's a like, that's a little he's like, harsh. Here I am, like studying that's a young man. Kind of, right. That's a young man kind of she thing. She sits <clears> down, <throat> starts blabbing with me. Right. And then all of a sudden, like, oh, I got to meet up with my boyfriend. He's like, I want my last well, hour right. back. The least she, she could have done. Right. The least she, she could have done was, was giving give him a hand job. Right. That's what yeah. I mean. She could have given him a hand job. Right. 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 She at least deserves that. Right in the library. Just to be respectful about it. Right. Exactly. For his time. I have a few issues with this. Because that would have been worth the hour. Yeah, but he could have just also just used her to cheat off of in class if they're both nursing well, me. if right. she would have left him alone, he wouldn't have needed anyone to cheat off of. The thing is, is he is, uh, how old? Uh, first year in college. So he needs to be, he's 19, 18, 19, yeah. so he needs to be laying the groundwork for the future. Right. So it's, it's this time investment now, it's like planting a seed. Yes. Plus he's got to play it cool. Yes. Exactly. He yes. didn't play it cool at all, that's number one. <laughs> and number two, he should have been like, all right, cool, I'll talk to you later, and let her walk to her own class yes. by herself, yeah, not walk that. her. Once he started walking her, she probably doesn't have a boyfriend. She probably thought he was cute. She probably wanted to get to know him. And she realized that the psycho is now going to walk me to my room and you know maybe follow me to my car. So you think he? Wear my skin. I think he overplayed it. He was. I too think he got a little well, too excited. He was excited. being too nice. He was he being was too, too nice. nice. Right. And which is a terrible thing, but it is. Well, for him, we're never going to get him married off then because he's just nice. Right. But I want to ask Tony and Andy a question. Ooh. As you were, uh, you know, which is related to this. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, I would like to uh, ask go. if this happened to you, would you text your mommy <laughs> the whole story or would you just go, ah, shit? <laughs> would you text mommy that you didn't fucking pick up a hot chick in the library and get laid? He he tells her everything. What the hell is everything. going on? I would have included whatever small fantasy I had about the girl. <laughs> right. <laughs> In the text to my mother. No, absolutely I w- I not. Wrote, Did you throw me under the bus <laughs> I would have wrote, written, Ma, you should see the tits on this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, that is... I didn't throw you under the bus. I didn't throw you in the bus. I don't know. You're it's making it sound like it's a bad thing. When it's this not, not a normal, normal thing. thing. It's not common. It's it's, a I'm not going to use the word normal. I'm just going to say it's not common. It's that's not all, normal. That's all I because meant. Tony I knows him very well. So if you're going to say like it's a bad thing, then let's <laughs> do this now. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. <laughs> it's not at all normal. It's not normal. <laughs> you don't text your mother. Yeah. You don't. Like like every human <laughs> interaction has like you. a reason. Like it, I'm an I'm a, a human interaction economist. Right. Like right. there's cost benefit <laughs> analysis. Right. So <laughs> what does he benefit by telling you about this? Right. Right, cuz you're not going to write back. You know, but, you you know, you should well, all right, she has a boyfriend, but maybe she'll just blow you in the library. You're not yeah. going to write that back. Right. Boom. You should have grabbed his ass. Like you're going to give him that kind of <laughs> advice? No. So what advice did you give him? She's going to say you did nothing wrong. You were perfect. You're a sweetheart. And he's right. going to get to do yeah. that. And being a good mom. Right. That's being a good mom. You're being a good mom. But he you got to be honest with be... him too. You'd be like you overplayed your hand, bro. You can't you got to play cool sometimes. But is that bro the, the truth? Did you say that to him? Did you feel like he overplayed his hand? Like he, well, thought, I he I told never, you this story too. No, no, he didn't. No, I, no, I didn't. I heard it from you. I no, I didn't talk to him. But you know, he went upstairs to like talk to you a couple of days ago about this. He didn't talk to you about it. I thought he did. No, okay. no. Said so something about the Yankees. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Are you and and like that's a normal talk to interaction. You about this, or I didn't you're acting what? like he wouldn't talk to you about? Oh, this. he probably oh, would. Oh, okay. No, no, like, no, no, just, no. Just that he didn't talk to you about this situation. I was surprised. He walked upstairs to talk to you about it. 
Oh, then yeah. he must have changed his mind or I lost his nerve. When was it? I think yesterday? you were right. working on the computer and he told Zach, who's standing right there with you. I him, think... him and Zach were talking while I was on the phone with somebody yesterday. Oh, that's why. Because he did <laughs> tell you. Well, no, he didn't tell me. I was on the well, phone. He was yeah, in the but... same room as him and, yeah. and told the story. Greg, do you yeah. a mom? Can you tell me where the clitoris is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That it, I, Danny, mom, she has the same size tits as you. I thought she was the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I actually said that to a, a stripper once in North Carolina who kept on asking if I wanted a lap dance. And to get her to stop talking to me, I said, you know why? I, I realize why I think you're so attractive. You look exactly like my mom. <laughs> oh. And then she left. And she left the rest of the night. She kept... A, Oh, annoying that awesome. crap out of all my friends. Oh, but. You, that would have been great. great if you said, do you mind if I call you mommy? <laughs> <laughs> would you? For an extra 10? Yeah. Well, oh. Bonnie posted something. Oh, no. About Bro her mommy? No, about some guy that she, like, that friend requested her. <clears throat> she accepted the friend request, and he immediately, yes. within, like, four minutes, yes, yes. sends her a thing about, like, could you uh, act like a mommy to me Can and dress me up like a baby right. and everything? Yes. It wasn't oh. messing with her, like, kidding around? I don't know. I mean, it was within four minutes of... The friend yeah. request acceptance, something like that. it was a really compressed amount of time. Bonnie loves putting it out there because she had that yeah. date with that sexy Italian guy, <laughs> and they went on four dates, and now all of a sudden she's like, "Well, back to the drawing board. Stop postings." Oh, Jay Moore. is that is that line one? No, no it's, it's not. Damn it, Jay Moore. Jay Moore. Hey, you're on the uh, Knock 'Em Dead Comedy Show. Who's this? I'm a huge fan, Jay. No, it's not Jay Moore. Damn it! Well, then hang it up, Jeff. <laughs> Real quick. Is, is it Jeff Bose? Jeff Bose. Yes. The problem is, is that no one knows how to talk or interact with each other. They're all texting each other. They're all on their computer devices. I have a 19-year-old. I tell her, like, do me a favor. Go out. Go go find a boyfriend. Go yeah. do something. Go to the library. Oh, Give some guy was a hand. Was she at Nassau Community College <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> did she blow up my son? <laughs> but he did talk to her. He did talk right, to her. Yeah, he they had a conversation. I just think he talked to her too much. Oh, he's saying that's, that's why he blew it, because he's too busy on his... Electronics, or he, he just didn't doesn't know how to handle the he situation. Like mommy. Yeah. <laughs> what should I say well, now, they mommy? <laughs> they don't know how to interact with each other anymore. They don't know how to get out there and talk and have those situations where they get like. But you that's know, a good thing. Don't talk. Just take your clothes off. Yeah, but do you yeah. think? Do you think that he went too far, like walking her to her next class or anything? I will say absolutely. There's a certain point where you got to sit there and say. Okay, I said hello. She talked to me. Back it's up. You got to go back to the old school way of like, let's play the game. Unfortunately, the game still has to be put into play. Yeah. Hey, I'll see you around. I got to get back to studying. Oh, oh, he's studying is more important than me. Now I want him. Now he doesn't want me. I right. want him. Mm. You got to play the game a exactly. little bit, Sam. Really, you can't just yeah. throw he it all out there. He needed to walking her to the next class. <laughs> that's a little much, that, especially that... when you just met somebody. Well, did she ask him? And if she did ask him, does he sit, still say no? Well, yes. Yeah, no, he I got to think. You know what? I got to go I gotta go drop a deuce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he didn't sit next down time where she I'll, was. Next like time she... I'll walk into you. I'll Instagram you a work. picture of it. <laughs> oh, he'd rather <laughs> take a deuce than talk line. to me. Right. <laughs> no, yeah, walking. <laughs> Hashtag tacos asked, was a no, mistake. No, you don't. You don't you Maybe don't. he thought since she, like, put herself out there first, he, you know. Shouldn't be a dick. Pulling out a Man. ring, pulling a ring out of his pocket—that was just a big. Maybe mistake. the girl. <laughs> well, if, you know, if it's on his penis, it's different. <laughs> hey, how about you want this ring? <laughs> that would have been perfect. <laughs> he Tell him to walk around with a ring on his penis. That's my dick in a his mom. <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was saying, "Can you say hi to my mom for me?" It's so funny. Oh, did Jeff hang up? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I think he did. Yeah, he did. He just told us he did. Okay. No. Thank you, Jeff. I know Eric just said that, but Danny said maybe the girl wanted to have a three with the boyfriend of him. <laughs> it's funny because, like, I remember reading one time, like, what different countries, like, about certain different porns. Like, everyone has, like, their different oh, things. Like, yeah, every yeah. state, every now and then. I'm a, yeah. I, I love maps, and there's a map that comes out every year. I love map, I, porn maps. I yes. love, and I love land. New Jersey's up to. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, my God. It is, uh, they're sick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where Jay Moore is from. Yeah, like America, like Americans on a whole like uh, girl on girl stuff. Yeah, they and then, do. Like, but then Italy, Italy. likes like right. uh, mother and son shit. Oh, <laughs> well, that, that, it's like weird. Incest shit. porn is like a huge thing. I was going to say there's a whole category of library porn. <laughs> yeah, that the maybe librarian. You, should, you as his mother again, <laughs> completely appropriate. You should introduce <laughs> library porn. Glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. So he, ha he has a he has a benchmark off to work off of. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's he, my advice. He overplayed I'll... his hand. He has to say <laughs> he has to be cool about it and say, "Hey, thanks. Nice meeting. I gotta get back to study, and I'll talk to you later." Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And, and, and even if he doesn't have anything, no, I'm going. You know what? I got a thing in the other direction. Unless and she walked ran, that way right. and turn around and make sure she's not looking, and then go back to wherever. Right. Unless telling. she ran up to him and said, "Hey, please help me. I think there's five guys following me, and I feel I'm in danger. Could you walk me to my next class?" Okay. That's when you walk her to the Which next. Which is class. another kind of porn. This isn't the 1950s <laughs> where it's like, "Can I walk? Can I?" Because if it was a 1950s, she wouldn't be. She wouldn't even school. be in college. She'd be in the kitchen cooking them dinner like she's supposed oh, to. Oh my oh. goodness! Make a oh. sandwich. No. Oh, <laughs> that, we got deep on this. We got deep on this. I, 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 no, got to back yeah, out. It, I got to back he, out. He, I got nothing on that. Nothing wrong with being a nice guy. That's, I'm not saying he's a bad kid or a stupid kid. He's <laughs> just, he should be texting mommy, number one. And number two, he just has to be a little bit more <laughs> cool, cool about it. Did he text you immediately after this he happened? Probably. He sent the picture with her next to him. Yeah. Wave to <laughs> mom. He FaceTime. Want to meet my mom as we walk they're, to class? They're both doing duck face. <laughs> but like this for mom yeah. and for mom. My mom's great at duck face too. <laughs> <laughs> we call her duck face mom. Yeah. Hashtag Oedipus. <laughs> he talked about porn on the way to classes, Danny. That's why. You know, I once saw this <laughs> porn where a girl walked up to me in a library. You know, it's crazy you came up to me in the library because I was just watching this library <laughs> porn right before you came up to me. I was like, there's no way this is happening like this. <laughs> <laughs> Am I being punked? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so, yeah. So, please text them back <laughs> and say, you got to act like a man. <laughs> you could stop by acting like a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. from The Godfather. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's like, I'm never bringing this up again. No, it's fine. But you have care. fun with, you know, making kettle care. corn tomorrow with Kevin because you Kevin. won't work anywhere else. Yeah, what's but that like 12 hours? What's that could be like 12 hours? You're just going to be standing there and trying not to talk about the porn that you were talking about. <laughs> and, and he did. Kevin got his way. He's working all weekend with, with mommy, mommy at White Post. Yeah. Yep. The they, younger son works with them at White Post, and he complained everywhere they moved him until they moved him back with. Well, that bird situation sounded pretty Yeah. Uh, yeah. Being like, like stabbed in the forehead. Yeah. Every time I would have worn like, a helmet, a hockey helmet. Just put yeah. a hockey helmet on. And <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, isn't that so nice that they hire people like that? And my sister worked in that department <laughs> last year. Tips, he did. So I'm like, is, right. is he just like exaggerating? She goes, oh, no, it's awful it's awful oh your sister's not working there this year no oh so he, last year was a whole job. family affair yeah this year she has a weekend job at petco we, yeah we lost her sister we lost sam the mother texter but we added my son yeah italy yeah. L- italy likes mother and son porn is that a mustache thing says Pete jenkins <laughs> oh my god um wearing was he wearing sweatpants and did he have a boner <laughs> here let me hold your books <laughs> <laughs> Watch I, uh, how I text my mom. <laughs> I just gotta <laughs> listen. I'm really into working out my kegels, <laughs> and I gotta know if you're also into working out your kegels. Yeah. My I mom, boyfriend. My mom told me to ask that. <laughs> <My mom. laughs> <laughs> now, nah, next time she walks over, I'll be like, "Nice meeting you, toots." Now take a walk. Yeah. That's the next that's show it. here on Goes Radio. That's it. Teen sex advice with Sally. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that how you were with Danielle when you met her? Um, didn't you say something on your first date like you guys were going to get married or something? No. Nah. You didn't? No. That wasn't you? No, I sold it to a cab driver. What? I, what? Yeah, I, sold <laughs> it to a, I sold it to a cab driver. What are you talking you about? Uh, maybe maybe I'm confusing that with somebody driver? else. Yeah, we were. We left the bar and cab's like, you need a cab? I'm like, nah, but she'll blow you for tw- 10 bucks. Come on. And he's like, <laughs> and she's like, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I said. I don't know why she married me. Nice. I'm the worst. There wasn't some story of you guys in an elevator. Yeah. How how many dates in was that? That was this. <clears throat> well, it wasn't even a date. It was just the second time I met her. You guys didn't say something about getting married in that conversation. No. In the elevator. Yeah. I can tell you the whole story if you want. No. Oh. No. No. That's <laughs> no that's I, joking. We um, were going out again as a group. <laughs> yeah. And I said I'll come get you, and then we'll walk to the bar because I did find her attractive. But I, so I was like, listen, I'm going to come get you, and we'll walk to the bar. Because she's like, oh, I don't know if I can make it. I said, you're going to make it. I said, you'll you'll make it. Don't worry about it. So I went to go pick her up at her building. Well, it's not like I went to go pick her up. We. It's like two blocks away. You walked with her. I walked over to her building. I went up to her floor. 
<clears throat> and then as we were going down Ooh. Hey. in the elevator, <laughs> full of the elevator was full of people. And if you've ever been in, a, in an elevator in Manhattan during, you know, when everybody gets out of work, you could kind of end up, you know, you could be right next to each other when you get on the elevator. By the end of the elevator ride, you could be yeah. on opposite sides because everybody just keeps pouring in. In Japan, so, they have elevator porn. Yes, elevator porn. So we had, <laughs> so she did, we did end up getting separated. And little did I know this became a trait of hers where she's always, she's like, I feel like I forgot something. So she'll always go back in the house or she'll be, you know, she'll be looking for something. Yeah. And so she's looking <clears> through her bags and she's like, I think, I feel like I forgot something. I said, well, did you, f I, and this is the conversation we had. I said, did you remember the, the condoms? And the whole elevator looked at me, and I just go, "Yeah, I'm gonna bang her tonight." <laughs> and she and she was she, she was like, "Oh my!" Her face just drained. She's like, "What the fuck is wrong with wow. you?" <laughs> That's what I said. But there was no maybe no. like a third date or something. There was no 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 no, 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 uh, no. Maybe I guess I'm confusing it with somebody else. No, not I'm until not until like three months. Uh oh, uh oh. Where'd oh, go? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? What, what are you reading? My mother just sent Sally a text. Oh. Sam didn't tell you anything explicit. He was just upset about the situation and is comfortable talking to you. Thank you, Mama Walker. Blah, blah. Uh, See, now, now my mother's joining in on text. Well, because you don't talk to your mother at all. I, I've, I've seen my mother twice this week. Really? Yeah. Oh, but were you nice to her? Always. I'm nice to my mother. No, you're not. <laughs> you make it. fun of her Parkinson's. I, yeah, well, that's her fault. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have gotten it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I didn't give it to her. Multiple the, um, sclerosis. You only get it once. <laughs> no, that was Kenny's mother-in-law. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, smart. Uh, well, I didn't know she had multiple sclerosis. How do I know? She looked fine to me. How do I know? She looked like one of those Jerry's kids. When I was a kid, we uh, I would go. My dad lived in Queens, like in one of those court. <coughs> oh, that's muscular things. dystrophy. Sorry. And there was a lady that they all called the boogie lady, or the boogie down lady. And oh, that's she was on Parkinson. And, and I was like, like I was like seven or eight, and uh, so I I feel terrible, but I also oh, called her the boogie she down was, lady. She was down. She, she would. She would start. Like and I was like, oh. and, and now as an adult, I'm yeah. absolutely mortified. You think back and you're like, oh, Mike, I no. can't believe that we did that. I'm mortified too, Andy. Oh, Get out of here. <laughs> well, you said I it to her face. I you from the studio. You uh, said it I don't to her think face. So. I don't think we ever said it to her face. No. Yeah, she was like kind of like a creepy looking older woman. <laughs> and she was boogie <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be sitting in her chair on her stoop and she would suddenly stand up and. Oh, I wish oh. they had video back then. You could take video and then put it to music and put it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are great. Wow, it's, uh, that's great. I, I blame my step. However, my mother does make great <laughs> martinis now. Nice. <laughs> my stepfather's very happy. Jay Moore's not calling. In. <laughs> <laughs> he tuned in. What am I calling? Oh, forget it. Mister S, the romantic. Yes, I'm very romantic. <clears throat> uh, loving an elevator. That's why Dennis thinks I look like Aerosmith. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, yeah, no, there was no talk. I didn't tell her I loved her until like three months after we, uh, got married. No, I'm not saying you guys had like a serious... <laughs> not married. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, I have to say it now. No, I didn't mean like a serious discussion, <laughs> I, but I thought there was something said like... No, I knew someday. shortly after that I wanted to marry her. Oh, maybe after, that's what it was. Yeah, but I never told her. What am I, a psycho? Oh, right. Walks out of <laughs> class or something? <laughs> It's not like I text my mom right after. Right. <laughs> mom, I just made love to the most wonderful girl. I'm going to marry her. Mom, when, when do you know that you've met the right one? When you text me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, oh, that conversation is going to be terrible. Mom, I just lost my virginity. It was the most wonderful thing. I wish you were there. <laughs> Can I ask you if these smells are okay? It would be horrible. I, would, I do not want anybody texting me about that. <laughs> so it's like I hate all of you. I'm never bringing up. My dear mom, I don't care. dear I mom, don't care. I didn't realize it was all going to be so wet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring me another shirt? <laughs> dear mom, it's nothing like when you and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. That's yeah. over the line. That was. A, that was. That yeah. was I'm too leaving. Much. All right. Yeah. 
has too much. Uh, Andy's banning himself now. Right. He's censoring. I can't be back. We're now. not in Italy. <laughs> We're not in Italy. <laughs> Unless the show has moved to Italy, uh-huh. <laughs> in which case it's totally. Do we normal. have any Italian See? viewers? That's the latest bit of news we were Lava giving away. Lava Walker now. saying, "Don't listen to them." <laughs> <laughs> that's a that, uh, no. Yeah, that's yeah. He's got to play it cool. Just yeah. tell him to play it cool. Say, Sam, I understand, but sometimes you got to play it cool. Girls like to be, mm-hmm. you know, chased a little bit. Be like or, Fonzie. Yeah. Here's his problem. Chased in the fact that they have to chase him. He's I so say. afraid to be the chaser. So That's he normal. was like, is it my birthday that someone's actually right. talking to me? Like, he couldn't even believe it. Right, right, like, right. Because he's actually sad. He's like, he goes, I don't understand why, like, girls can't ask guys out. Because it's like, it's too, like, if, why do I, like, well, if someone asks Girls me ask out, Brad Pitt out. Yeah. <laughs> it, the rest of us have to work for yeah, it. Yeah, girls <laughs> ask guys out. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I, he just, he just, right? like, his Several dream times. came yeah. true that someone was forward enough to him to say so he knows how it feels to be nervous he right. wanted to make it really easy on her like i don't think he was thinking play hard to get he was just like oh my god my dream just came yeah. true no the, right, the whole right. his whole the motherboard yeah. well, literally that's his dream. went nuts yeah the motherboard <laughs> his motherboard was <laughs> overloaded <laughs> but if <laughs> i must text mommy can't wait to tell mommy <laughs> of this encounter <laughs> Is this what humans do? He tells you, like, all the things he tells me. Why are you, like, acting like it's such a weird thing? What happened? Like, do you think it's weird that he, like, says, like, talks to you and asks advice and stuff? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Pete says he had an epileptic landlady every time she took a bath, he threw his laundry in. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, That's great. (laughs) Uh, Mom, can I? Oh, that's Danny. I broke up with a guy I was seeing this morning, made it to four days. Yes, Bonnie, we know. We, we we addressed that already, that you broke up with him. Why did you break up with him now, Bonnie? What did he do? Or what did... We'll wait a minute and a half for your response. Right. Yes. <laughs> what did he do? I know. That is a pain. You could call in, actually, and tell us what, what he did, Bonnie. Uh, tell him girls like to be degraded. Dan- no, they don't. Well, well that's that whole negging thing. There was a, There's this guy named Mystery who wrote a book... Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but he had a show on um, VH1, and it was uh, teaching nerds how to date. And uh, it's terrible, though, the technique, because what it is is approach a group of girls, compliment all of them, and then Mm -hmm. give a backhanded compliment to the one that you want to hook up with. Oh, that's nice. And that's called negging. Like, your hair would look great on a mannequin, or I don't know, stuff like that. Like, this is a for real thing. Like, uh, Did you get that off the rack? Right, oh, exactly. Oh, that's, that's horrible. It's like, oh, you must have to shop at special stores. Because oh. <laughs> that's a really great outfit. You know, like, like so there's like yeah, a... Yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't understand, do that. I don't understand why a girl would be like, wow, he's the one for me. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't do that either. <laughs> Maybe I'm like really old. And there's actually total brain chemistry. Like the dude had had done his research and uh, apparently had done... Oh, this is the great... This is like where people ask for numbers. No, this is picking up girls with insults. You look... Like, you're really high maintenance. <laughs> I'm not. How to holler. All right. No, no next. You, there you go, Ned. I know the... Hi. 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 Um, one sec, one sec. I need to ask you something. Hold on. Thank you. Ew, your hands are, are sweaty. Your palms are sweaty. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are. are you nervous? <laughs> no, I wouldn't be nervous. <laughs> Can you come outside for a sec? I don't want to go in. But uh, yeah, you look like super main- high maintenance. Are you high maintenance? Um, I don't know. Go to class later. All right, but we gotta go on a date first. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, that's just being first. confident. Okay, I'm gonna transfer soon. Oh, I don't yeah, like her. San Jose. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where is your off button? My off button. I don't have one. You can turn it off. I don't have an off button. San Jose State yeah. University. I was there the other day visiting a friend. Uh-huh. The campus is really big. Yeah, it's, really it's really nice. It's really chill. Yeah. You know, it's maybe too calm for you. You look like a wild, wild person. No. No. I'm calm. You're calm. Yeah, I don't you're like these. Pretty chill. Yeah, no, it makes you yeah, feel uncomfortable. If you watch, like the show. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to remember right, what it was well, called, but it was on VH1 for David. a while. And right. to be honest, I used to get I'll high and watch it, and, we'll it and I would just laugh my ass off because at one point they have a disclaimer. Because right. they, they do it in a club. Oh, wow. And uh, they say there are no players in the club. Or there are no actors in the club. All oh, right. Sure. And that would be, right. 
Right. Uh, Danny said, chasing broads is fun. He needs a wingman. Maybe Sally can be his wingman next time. <laughs> <laughs> Those negging lines work, says Dan, and he used to use them all the time and picked up broads like crazy. Interesting. No, I wouldn't use a yeah, negative even insult. Zach tried but I would to, play it cool. Zach tried to be his wingman once, and um, he like Sam liked this one girl that was like a f- friend of Zach's girlfriend, mm-hmm. and um, like just saw a picture of her. Like I guess like Zach and his girlfriend said, "Oh, you should date my friend. I right. could totally see her with you." So Sam looked at a picture, and he was like, "Oh wow, you know she she looks she really pretty." Sure. So um, Sam said yes, and then the girls like, "No, you guys fixed." Well, me that's up. not how the conversation went. What? Zach said, Sam, here's a picture of it. And he said, wow, Mom, look at this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you'll never believe. Oh, phone call. Zach just said, no. okay. Is it one? No. You're live in the Knock Em Dead Comedy Radio Show. Who's this? It's Bonnie. Are you still watching that video? You know, it's off now. No, it's off. But what's, okay, up, I, what, I, what's up, Bonnie? Why'd you break I, up with this guy? I was blowing my hair, so I just looked a lot. Br- like, you're breaking up, You're breaking up, Bonnie. Bonnie. Up, Bonnie. You're, Bonnie. you're breaking up bad, You're only Bonnie. getting every other word. Oh. Call us Can back. now? No, no, it's no, bad. bad. It's bad. Call us back. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, call us back. Bye-bye. The, uh, oh, so, but then the girl said, no, Zach and my friend fixed me up before, and I don't trust him anymore. And Sam's like... <laughs> oh, well, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. I know, but Sam's like, but... Okay. Did he meet her in person? No. Uh, so he's like, I don't even or get, maybe like, a, she saw a I picture can't even, like, say hi to you. Maybe she saw a picture of him and didn't like him, though. No, she... I think oh. they... That stuff z- is common. That kind of thing happens a lot. I know, but I... Hello, Bonnie. Hello, Bonnie. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Better. Okay. I, I was saying, I when I uh, when I watch you guys, I blow dry my hair. Yeah, you do. So I, I miss a lot of the conversation. Uh. I kind of go in and out, so I didn't hear anything you said about me. W- what are you wearing when you blow dry your hair? I'm <laughs> in my t-shirt and underwear. Oh yeah, baby. Nice. All right. Just this little negligee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Bonnie. Negligee. Tell us more. All right. So you want to know about this guy? Maybe you guys can give me your advice. Go ahead. <laughs> so I. I'm very, very, very picky. Yeah. And I, I, there's all these guys that like me, and I, just from the photo, I'm... I, all these guys that like me. Oh, well, well, somebody's well, fooling well. themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I don't want to sound conceited, but... So I'm <laughs> but swiping, I am. Left, but here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, it's easing you. Swiping, Go ahead. swiping left, 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 most of the time. Right. So when I, I finally... Is that the good way or the bad way, left, left, left? Bad way. That's the bad way. Okay. All right. I don't know. Okay. So... I finally see somebody whose photo I like, and then and then I go on a lot of dates, and they don't look like the photo. Right. So then I only last, like, one date. Okay. So this is only the second guy that I got past the first date with. Did you give any of these other guys handies, at least, for coming <laughs> out and meeting you? No. Oh, okay. Did they walk you to class afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, like, if you've got so many people to choose from, maybe you should say, hey, take a selfie right now and send it to me? Because, I, you know, like, I don't really get... I keep, I'm sick of going on dates with people that aren't honest about their appearance or something. Yeah, well, I mean, like, nice. is that just rude? I mean, maybe it's one date. It's, it's probably it's just like rude. One evening, I, I don't really, that. I just won't. As long as they're paying. Right. Yes. I, no, I, I even offer to pay. Oh, okay. Whoa. It, you I modern, pay. Bonnie. Pay half. Half. Not, right, not so you don't feel thing. obligated to give me a hand. You go I Belgian. Half. Dutch, Dutch no, you right. go Belgian. <laughs> Belgian. No, no. So, so this <laughs> 60, guy. 60, 60. So this guy, this yes. guy, um... Was Oops. very attractive to me. Anthony. No, his name was Guy. Oh, okay. Uh, Guido. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name. Yeah. So easy Italian. to get <laughs> He was Italian. He was very handsome. Yes. How was, what, was, very, he, what, was he hung? Very, very attracted to him. And he was very, very romantic and very, um, like, the total package, like, as far as, like. She liked his package. But? <laughs> but, well, was he well, building well, Now here comes the butt part, which what? is like. Oh, he wanted to put it in your butt. He's got syphilis. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, what? Well. <laughs> He's got syphilis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bonnie. We're listening. <laughs> Some of his stories just didn't make any sense. Wait, was he a homeless guy and he lived by by the train station? I'm um, okay. Well, I think he's homeless. Is this the oh. same guy that Kristen Tinsley dated? No, she dated somebody else, but she's the one who said, Bonnie, ask him this, ask him that. And his stories just didn't seem to be adding up. He had a P.O. box. He didn't same seem to thing. have an apartment. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, not that I have high standards, but I think somebody should have a place to live. Do you think, do you think I'm being too, um, you know, too, my standards are too high? Bonnie? Because 
Bonnie. Love knows <laughs> My no address. My standards too high because he. <laughs> yeah, no. You you basically want this guy to have a place to live. Right. That would be number one. He doesn't have you a place. Got to go somewhere to do it. So. Right. Yeah. He doesn't have a place that he, you know, he said he had a room that he sleeps in. That's it. He just sleeps there. And I'm like, well, where do you? Where does your mail go? It's the waiting room at where the did, Farmingdale train. And, and then he <laughs> said he had a house upstate, and he was showing me pictures of this house, and it looked a mess. And he said something about it being in foreclosure, and then. Um, so he, he doesn't have a house up. upstate if it's <laughs> in foreclosure. <laughs> I, I have had I mean, a house. I have a house until uh, what it, on Thursdays the auction. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> I have a house uh, in uh, Glen Cove. It's not mine, but I have a house there. <laughs> All right. So did he offer? F- did he offer for you to uh, buy it at foreclosure? <laughs> I just need somebody it. to bid. He right. said he bought it, and then the <laughs> woman he was seeing before. Yes, uh, had cancer and died, oh. and but they never got married. And he, and he and her were living together. Yes, and they bought this house together. Supposedly, that right. was, it was a very you know cheap house because it's falling apart. They bought it upstate. Right, he's going to fix it up because that's what he does. He does a lot of you know manual stuff with his hands. You know? Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> so he did he manually manipulate you, uh, Bonnie? <laughs> he he was. Showing me pictures of the place and how he was fixing it up. He's like, but I don't want to do too much with it because her ex, she never, she never completely really got divorced. So half of everything she owns, he's coming after, which includes this house. Bonnie, this right. was only four dates, and yeah. this is the specific story that you got from this guy. This it, is it, too it, much detail. Yeah. No, right. you have to understand. He was calling me and texting me nonstop all the time. So even right. though it was four dates, well, because he needed a place to live. Yes. It was right. like, was it intense? Like, he was always texting me, always calling me, and right. um, it didn't seem like four dates. It seemed like it seemed like I dated him for like three months. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's heavy, not a yeah. good sign at all. And he was saying, you know, like things like, you're not going to swipe left on me. You're not, like, very, like, very needy, I guess the word he is. He was negging you? You're not going to swipe left on me. Pete Jenkins says, I that don't is, like Bonnie from her photo. She's very unattractive. That's negging. Did it work? <laughs> Oh, so Pete oh, Jenkins Pete wants Jenkins to ask you Pete Jenkins is asking you out. Yeah. And, and Eric, you'll like this one. Do you, yeah. know, do you know what his voice sounded like and what his accent sounded like? What? He sounded exactly like Dan Romano. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, my God. Like I could close my eyes and it would be like Dan Romano talking. That just what you want. Yeah. <laughs> so like, did did no. you know when he said... Nothing uh, more attractive than stupidity. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, you understand? Oh, oh, man. man. So I had, I, you know, so then... You sure I, it wasn't him? He did, looks did, homeless. Did he have a nickname for you? He had a million nicknames. What was, what, was, uh, what was your favorite? Oh, God, let's see. No, what was your least favorite? Okay. Call me, he would call me his banana. He called, he called himself the monkey banana. I think, banana. That's, I think banana. that's illegal in New York City. You had four <laughs> dates and he already had a pet name for you? He had a million pet names for me. And wow! Then, and then he was getting mad because I didn't have any pet names for him. Do you How think he just I like couldn't remember your name or something? <laughs> like sometimes oh, when no, people have pet no. names, you're like, "Hey, buddy." Did he call you? <laughs> Al? Did he call you Brian Christopher Roach? <laughs> yeah. Did he call you Alice? <laughs> or Junior? Did he call you Junior? <laughs> no. He, I, I, I have Only look, after you asked. I have to look back at the uh, at my uh, phone. To Call, right. had, now, how was his? How was his? Uh, you know, how was his package? Was he hung or what's the deal? He was, was sassy. He was very sassy, <laughs> and he was a great kisser. Right. And he was really good. Um, he knew what he was doing. Did he, he did he smell a little bit like milk? <laughs> I, I think honestly, he belongs to Planet Fitness, and I think he goes there and he takes his showers there. That's where his room is. Yeah, yeah. right, right. But <laughs> dance his so, body sounds I, like high maintenance. <laughs> B- Bonnie, did, it's did not you high know? maintenance to, to not want to date somebody who doesn't seem to live anywhere? No. Okay, but did, okay thank you, Bonnie. Did you know that it was over when? Uh, he asked you oh, if you, you know if you going? had a door that locked. <laughs> <laughs> Can you leave the porch light on? Can I hey, do you have porch? a door that locks at your house? You have a mailbox. <laughs> I don't even need a bed, just a sleeping bed. Do you have an outdoor shower? <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow your hose? And he's out there scrubbing no, himself. Really, not? really, just something to keep the rain off of me. <laughs> 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 All right, so go ahead. How did you break up with him? No, what happened was oh. I, I, 
I kept. <laughs> She's with him now. <laughs> I kept trying to get the story from him. Yeah. What's going on with his house and where does he live? And so finally, I, I went. I went back on Plenty of Fish to start just to start looking around because I'm like, this doesn't look good. And all of a sudden, he comes up on Plenty of Fish because I guess when you're on there, you can tell when someone else is on there. Yeah. So. He's like, you know, what are you doing on here? <laughs> I'm like, well, what are you doing on here? Wait, so is Plenty of Fish like the other one where you swipe left or right to? Well, I, I don't go on Tinder anymore because everybody keeps telling me it's a hookup site. So okay. I stop going on that. All right. So I thought Plenty of Fish was like a legit site, but it's it sounds like it sounds like site. Tinder. Why don't you try like Match.com or something like that, like where somebody's really looking for something? No, no, they, these people say, and no, this guy, believe me, he's looking for a relationship. He would. <laughs> on the third date, if so I let. I met somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dating emergency. Dating emergency. <laughs> I've been in- okay, mom. I've inserted. What <laughs> next? <laughs> <laughs> Mother docking is complete. What is next step? <laughs> what are my next orders? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. So go ahead. So how did you break up with him? So when he when he basically confronted me on plenty of fish, I said, "Well, you know, I'm to be honest, I'm really concerned about you know our conversation yesterday, and it really bothers me that you don't seem to have a, you know your own place." And he's like, "Well, you know, I could have a place, but I I want to pay off my credit card." I could have a place if you let me. <laughs> Did this guy get excited when you offered him a bagel or some water? No, he was always bringing me presents and stuff. Oh. Oh, you know, like, I mean, like what? Like half-eaten Danishes? <laughs> 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 Yesterday's news day. <laughs> you want to try my blanket? <laughs> Go ahead. He would show me photos of where he was, when, when, when he was at a job site. He would take Those me. weren't job site photos. That's where he slept last night. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so did he finally fess up and say he's homeless? No, he didn't say he's homeless. He said he chooses not to waste money on Identify. an apartment that's alone, <laughs> and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't really, he doesn't really care about because he kept telling me he had this loss and and you know, and he had the whole floor to himself. And then he he was like, "Why am I paying all this money? I have nobody to come home to. I don't need it." And blah blah blah. So. He's aggressively so he's, homeless. So he's homeless by choice. <laughs> Is that? Yes. Yeah. And angrily so. And angrily so he so. is homeless. All right. He's residentially challenged. <laughs> yes. He yeah. identifies as an outdoorsman. I would say homeless in New York City. <laughs> Plenty yeah. of fish is probably how he smelt. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Pete. Nice. That's great, Pete. <laughs> Bonnie, would you, make, would you date a guy from England? Of course I would date someone from England. The, the, I mean, that still lives there, I mean. No. Oh. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Why not? I need the penis no. here. <laughs> What if he talked to you in bed like, "Hello, Bonnie, I'm gonna take your clothes off." Man. What are you wearing? Oi, let me get. Oi, let me get in that fanny there. <laughs> fanny is. You the like a finger in your bum. Fanny. Is <laughs> the word for you know, I'm not sad about it because I really like them. That sucks. Uh, that sucks. I'm sorry he was homeless. <laughs> gee, gee, Bonnie, I'm real sorry that he was homeless. <laughs> but, but I mean, I, th- I made the right decision. He, right? he brought her fresh flowers from her own bed. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> You you know what? You didn't invite him into your house, did you? Like, I can't because my ex still lives here. Okay, oh. good. Because he might be a vampire, too. You should make your ex watch next time. No. Oh, what the hell? No just just to, to get him back. There is also to make a, watch a some porn, other porn category. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a porn category. <laughs> I, bet oh, he, I, I bet he'd get into it. I bet he'd get into it. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but... Yeah, Jay Moore is waiting, apparently. Yes, Jay Moore is calling any minute now. (laughs) Hey, Bonnie, why don't you call back as Jay Moore? (laughs) Uh, I was just going to say, yes, I'm going to have a date with him tonight, so I'm not going to go. Well, that's that's probably a good idea. So go see Jay Moore. Yeah, go see, go, yeah, do something else, Tell him you'll meet him at his house. Well, why don't you just ask him? She did. What's going on? She said he chooses not to have a place to live. Oh. He chooses that's paying off credit cards, oh, yada, right. yada, yada, yada. Right. I did ask him, and that's what he said. All right. Well, maybe he's in a bad situation. Pete Jenkins you know? from Pete Jenkins from Indli- I- Ital- uh, from England left a sad face that oh. you won't date him. Yep. <laughs> well, tell him he moved 
to the United States, I'll date him. All right, Pete, if you move to the United States, Bonnie will date He's you. He's a great and guy, most, Bonnie. And by the fourth date, you'll most likely get some nookie. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be all over Facebook. All right, let me let Bonnie. <laughs> and everyone will know. <laughs> all right, Bonnie. Bonnie <laughs> Scalisi, everybody. You can catch Bonnie tomorrow night in the little room right here at Governor's in Levittown. Woo-hoo! Bonnie. Yes, thanks. Bonnie. Thanks, thanks Bonnie. Guys. Bonnie. Bye. That is true. It's like, uh, you know, the Swift girl. Like, everyone who she dates, it's like you have to find out what their package is like. I don't know. Like, what is going right. She is um, amazing. Amazing. What, um, yes. What has she done with... Uh, oh, that's a good idea. Bonnie should go out with Sally's son. <laughs> <laughs> but she says, well, that's a good idea. Oh, Danny. Danny said Bonnie. <laughs> You'll be able to put the whole relationship together between Facebook and your phone. Right. Oh. <laughs> Mom, I, Mom, I met the perfect woman. <laughs> did, did, um, oh, Wait. I should have asked her while she was on, on the phone. I should have asked her while she was on the phone. Did, what did she, she did say that, uh, she did talk about her show, the Three's Company show? Why are you repeating show? everything twice? Because <laughs> I, I don't know what to say because I don't know what she has already said. No, yeah. she didn't talk about her Three's Company show. About oh, about the changes that are being made? Yes, yeah, they announced it. They announced they, it. They, they Jim they, is out. That he's out, but they did not it. announce. They did not announce the replacement. And they changed the name of the show. Apparently, did yes, they? to the, uh, the Fantastic, Fantastic Four. No, the Three's a crowd. Well, that's still the name of a show. Yes, I know. I understand that, but that's what they <laughs> so did. So I guess they're changing, changing it from the original <laughs> to the sequel. <laughs> they changed right. it to Police the spin Academy. <laughs> the spinoff. <laughs> right. They oh, changed it to I Love Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Roper's Place will be the next <laughs> one. Isn't it? Wasn't that the third inter- iteration? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now I forgot it's the about Partridge that one. Family. Oh, oh, but they haven't announced a new host yet. Right. No, oh, they right. no, they have not. Oh. Because I was just talking to Mandy about that actually. Oh, did she tell you who it is? She. Did not. Ah, well, oh. for five bucks, I'll tell you off the air. <laughs> I know it is. Yeah. I actually do. No, she did. Oh, oh you do know did. it yeah. is. But now everybody <clears throat> knows that she told me, and now I feel bad. I don't. Oh. I don't. No, I don't it's going to be announced next week. Well, it's going to be announced next week. That is Jay Moore. It's exciting. J- yeah. <laughs> as That's soon as he calls in. in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jay Moore wins when he calls in. I bet he calls at 105. Who? Jay, Jay Moore. Moore. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe. You want to stay late, just to, just in case? No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> what, should we just sit here? Yeah. I'm sure he will. Twiddle our thumbs. Any minute now, Jay Moore. Any minute. We don't have a number. F- like I have him. cards. Yeah, I, 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 I always <laughs> carry cards. I double-checked the number that Are you a card player? Gave out. Uh, no. Oh, okay. I, I did magic a lot when I was a kid, so uh, it's just like a safety, security blanket. I like, that's how you pick up chicks in the library? That's, yeah. <laughs> that and the ventriloquism <laughs> doll that I had in eighth grade <laughs> that, that, I, brought, that really I brought to school. Big. It was awesome. <laughs> really big. Just pussy flying at me. Mike Monty Jr. is watching. Jim Savali <laughs> is watching. Jim called somebody a loser. I'm not sure who. Uh, Rip Father Jim. Who's Father Jim? R.I.P. That's what uh, Taz called uh, Raya. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it. We're, we're going to miss Jim. He's a good good guy. Change the name of the house. house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know oh, where no, they changed said, no, we did not change the name of the show. I'm pretty sure they changed it to Seinfeld. Right? Oh, I, I saw something on <laughs> <laughs> I saw something on Facebook that said three's a crowd. <laughs> Friends. Family ties? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> don't tell. No, we're not telling. We're not Nobody's telling. No, we're not. We're not. We're not telling. Oh, I have a phone number for Jay Moore's booking and media requests. Should I call? No. <laughs> Where is he? Watch it, Tim. What do you want? Yeah, right, you want <laughs> my garage. <laughs> I'm driving out to Levittown. Is that for two weeks show? in a row we got to stood up? burner cell. Yes. Who yeah. stood us up last week? Matt I Burke. actually just checked Matt Burke, the yeah. number to make sure I gave out the right <clears throat> number, but I did. <clears throat> well, Matt Burke didn't stand us up. He didn't see the message to call in until after our oh. show was over. Oh, that's fine. All right. But Andy's here, so we don't care. That's right. Andy yeah. plugging us. Yeah. <laughs> right up there with Jay Moore. I'm gonna Jay look, Moore. Boy, I'm gonna did you down. not step down <laughs> on a fucking Grand one. Canyon. <laughs> I'm going to look now. I could have sworn I saw something that said, Three, like I got a picture of them, and it said three's a crowd. Yep, Father Jim. Father Jim's moving on. Um, but that's uh, Jim Savali says it's me. He's replacing Jim. Oh, uh, can, um, we, can we start the send off now? How can I oh, say goodbye, goodbye to, to what what we had? I don't know the words. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or else I would totally join you. <laughs> uh, Jim, so. Jim's leaving. Should we get him a cake or something? Uh, no. Make Felix make it. <laughs> make Felix make the <laughs> cake? So we'll have it on Thursday after his Wednesday show. And we'll we'll and have goodbye Jim cake has, without him. Bye, then Jim. Then Jim has to marry Dennis and his fiance. <laughs> right. right. 
Father as Father Jim. <laughs> Pete said if he moved to New York, he'd be homeless and an illegal alien. Bonnie would love him. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Can't say illegal alien. Ah, Mandy oh, said Mandy that. said, yeah. Mandy said it last night that Jim changed it to three is a crowd. <laughs> Jim put that up. Three Do is a you crowd. own oh, okay. that name? <laughs> no, they don't own the other name either. <laughs> or the music, or the logo, or they use the exact same font, everything. I'm like, Jesus. Oh, so oh, Mandy, Mandy put it up that it's now going to be called Three's a Crown. I guess I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I wasn't crazy. <laughs> Dan said he wouldn't stand us up. There's that one lady guest we've been waiting for on for months. There's, oh yeah, well, yeah, we forgot about that. Remember? I'm sorry. What? We got stood up like four weeks in a row from a lady guest. That still oh, might happen. Yeah, that still true. might happen. It's. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's holding out hope. It still might happen. Yeah, yeah why? Because she's just she's a little busy right now. She's doing a um it's like Taylor some Swift. Netflix or yeah Comedy Central special or something. She's she's working on something. That's fair enough. That's and fair. she had babies. You know, right. She was Who a is busy. this? Or, or we, we, yeah, we can say. Yeah, Jessica Curson. She was oh, going to cool. come in. Yeah, and it was like every Wednesday for a while. I'm like, today's the day. We're like Jessica's <laughs> coming. <laughs> But you know, I you right, know yeah, having a new family right, is you know. It is tough having a, a yeah, young no child at home. Two babies. It's obnoxious. Two young childs. They were twins. Yeah. Oh. The twins. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! I didn't Ooh. know she had twins. Yep. Wow! Oh, so that's sorry. two little girls. Equally tough. Yeah. Yikes! Doubly, doubly tough. Doubly toughy. That's yeah. what I meant to say. Right. Yeah. Doubly tougher. She's great though. I loved working with her. You did? Did you do these? I didn't. You want me to? Of course. Uh, well, you could mention it. No, I'll, I'll hold it. Let me hold. No. Give me. Nope. Let me touch. No. Let me see so if it's indestructible. Shiny. No. So want to hit. Buy it. a cup. Five dollars now. Do it. Do it. Oh, I bought a cup today. I bought that one. I bought that mug today. That's not a mug. That's a glass. That's a pint glass. I bought that. Very nice. Yes. I have enough plastic mugs. I need a pint glass to drink my pumpkin beers out of, <laughs> like a man. With the rim of sugar and cinnamon. <laughs> and sometimes pee in when all the other bathrooms are taken up. Like a man. It cannot be good. It's it can't delicious. Be good. It's more than good. Oh, it's I think delicious. They, doesn't Blue Point make a pumpkin beer? They yes. do, and it's, a lot of people it's make it's pretty decent. It's yeah. awful. No. no. It's awful. No, it's yeah. not. It's delicious. Uh, Sarnak, I do think you like pumpkin? one of my favorites. Yeah, I don't mind pumpkin. No, pumpkin no, no, pie, no. No, but you, you know? like, 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 a, but you get like a pumpkin latte or anything like that? Will you do that at all? No. I'm like a straight black. Coffee drinker. Yes. Oh, oh coffee yeah. drinker. Oh, there yeah. was like a pause. <laughs> she said a lot. I think that's called a pregnant pause. <laughs> straight black. I love my yeah. straight black. I thought of Mark White immediately. Coffee. Me too. Yeah. Steve Belanger's <laughs> watching. Hey, Mr. Happy Belanger. birthday, Steve Belanger. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday to you. We played do, do, birthday do, do, music do, do, for you this morning. Did you send it to him? Me. I did not. Damn you. Happy birthday, dear Steve. Football guy. Happy, happy birthday yeah. to you. Football guy. Football, the football Steve. Guy. We'll just call him Football Steve from now on. We didn't do uh, what? So we didn't do any mass Singer. We're we gonna do it on Monday. Oh, are we sugar, honey, do ice cream. It? Is it good? Or you're like, just yeah, we'll do it Monday. He doesn't yeah, sound please, ex- as excited he, about it. We've as DVR'd it, and my children will. Uh, oh, you didn't watch it yet? Not yet. No. Oh, so on Monday. It's still the number one show, which is shocking. Oh, is it? Yes, it says the number one show on television. Not like last you know, year. Totally called Joey Fat One. Yeah, everybody had yeah. Joey Fatone. Yeah, From that one. Go. That one we knew. Um, we wavered on a few of them, but we got back to Donny Osmond on that. We knew uh, what's his face. We, oh, Gladys Knight was a Gladys given. Knight was easy. Yeah, yeah that was very yes. easy. Um, yeah. We Terry Bradshaw was Terry easy. Terry Bradshaw. Yes. That's what I couldn't think of. I'm like the football guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. Immaculate reception. <laughs> you didn't get Terry Bradshaw from this. Danielle said, "No, you don't need no more cups." Nice, l- nice language. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't need no more cups. No, I got one pint glass. I, it t- sounds like shit. my daughter. We have a yeah. I buy what I want. <laughs> and yeah, I got a show tonight. You're not gonna be able to get all this. <laughs> to these, sir. Yeah, and it's that Frank Steaks is always like a later night. Yeah, it is a late night. Yeah, showtime's probably not till nine o'clock. Yeah. But we get a good meal. Oh, nice. Dan said uh, I got a voicemail for my social security number being frozen. Do you all uh, want to call it? Yes, we would have, but we're leaving now. Yeah. And but yeah, give us that earlier if you get it, unless you just got it. I mean, we I could try it Monday, but the number probably nah, be gone it'll at that be point. Gone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Send me the number anyway, Dan, just in case. And we'll figure it out from there. We'll try to get them on Monday. <clears throat> Don't but forget this weekend to vote for uh, Knock 'Em Dead Comedy and the Best of Long Island. Vote yes. for Govs Radio. Uh, enjoy our new website, govsradio.com. Uh, don't forget the thermoses. 
Don't forget to see me and Sally at White Post Farms. Don't forget to see uh, and Kevin, Andy tonight. And uh, what's the name of the place again? Barton's Place Barton's in Mount place Sinai. In Mount, Sinai. Mount Sinai. Right Barton. on 25A. Paul Bond is the headliner. He Paul sure Bond is. is fantastic. Is it a bar or a restaurant? It's a bar. It's a bar, re- bar restaurant? No. Just bar. straight up bar. Bar. Yeah. bar. Okay. Anyone bar. want to fix my son up? <laughs> <laughs> Sally's going to hear about it. <laughs> I, anyone who fix my son up, I want to pre-screen you and talk about your future um, and... <laughs> what are you What are you doing on Wednesday? Are you doing the show without us? What? Sally and I won't be here Wednesday. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. You haven't decided yet? No. I'll no. probably do it. I just don't know with who. Yeah, because you need an engineer, too. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll get Courtney in or something. Courtney's gone. Well, she would come back for a dollar. <laughs> no, Ooh. she won't. Or Mike. Mike, 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 I, Mike. I don't Mike know too. what he's doing during the day. Yeah, we'll yeah let me know. I'll ask around. Yeah, I'll figure it out. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, don't, we're playing tonight at Frank Stakes in Jericho. We're playing tomorrow night at the Riverhead Library. Ooh. You might still be able to get tickets. Maybe. I'm doing my first Maybe. game show by myself. <clears throat> tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. Don't screw it up. I'm and don't nervous. screw up my cards. And don't mess up You're everything. No, that's You're a particular about that's your me. cards. I'm just telling her not I, to no, follow your no, lead. Well, I did it once. I did it once. I messed them up. The last time I did it, I messed them up. Switzerland. Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) No, I didn't. I went to you and said I messed them up. Sorry. Don't mess them up. No, she won't. Well, I saw him messing them up, and I was like. (gasps) (laughs) She did. She was. I don't know what to say. Eric's going to kill you. about the car. I was. We were in a rush to get out, and I just said, "All right, screw it. We'll get up." And I did mean to get back to it and clean up at a later time. I had diarrhea just thinking about you seeing those cars. There was a (laughs) flood. There was a flood. (laughs) But more importantly, have fun. Thanks. I told you we ordered the new terminal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, that'll be cool. I can't wait. Get it. The terminal tonight. Tonight. I'm bringing it tonight. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you don't have it in your car right now, do you? No. Okay. I was going to bring it tonight. Why did you? Oh, Before you hit any of uh, the great comedy shows, whether it's at Governors or Us or Andy Plajonas or any of these great shows, uh, this weekend, stop at White Post Farm, say hi to me and Sally and her lazy ass uh, son. Um, uh, and Nobody said son. he was lazy. No, that's Just, yeah, the, that's the other you know, son, not the one on that, the apron. Oh, right, okay. that's a different son. There's <laughs> one that yeah, it's still attached at the apron, and there's another one who's lazy. So. <laughs> Who, um, Kevin? Yeah. I'm gonna have no, to he's not talk. lazy. He just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to let go of mommy's apron. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want. <laughs> I want to work with mommy at the. Do I'm you, fun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you do everything for him? No, the, he's g- actually a great worker. He's not lazy. I don't like that job. I don't like he that job. Like I don't like that job. 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 He doesn't like kids. He doesn't like birds. He only likes mommy. Doesn't well, like to yeah. work. The owner of the yeah. place, <laughs> the owner of the place's son, who's sixteen, said those are the worst two jobs. He oh. the worst two jobs because he's not going to. Yeah, what the fuck does he know? Because he's not working in those places. He's probably <laughs> he's living high well, on the white. He post actually post taught post. me how to do the cattle car, and he, oh, he works right. hard. He's all right, good for him. Good, then. good working kid. Good for him. Everybody yeah. have a great weekend. Thank yes. you, Andy, as always, for coming Thank to hang out. Yes, much. Andy, yeah. appreciate it. Very nice. Thanks for having me. Everybody have a great weekend. Plajanos. Plajanos. See you guys Monday. See ya.